Excuse me, sir, is this the Delta House? Sure. Come on in. The following program is intended for mature audiences. I may have to wipe the geek off. Due to some violent content, parental discretion is advised. Take him to Detroit. No! No, not Detroit! No! No, please! Anything but that! No! You will never find the more wretched hive of scum and villainy. Pay attention to me, boy. I'm not just talking to hear my head roar. So it's sort of social. Demented and sad, but social, right? Yes, Captain so, Soundboard doesn't know how to run the soundboard. <laughs> Save the technical mumbo jumbo. I just want to know if it'll work. You see, we're on a mission from God. It's yet another in a long series of diversions in an attempt to avoid responsibility. So, what would you little maniacs like to do first? The question isn't what are we going to do, the question is what aren't we going to do? Ludicrous speed! Go! Once again, we are live, Russell Industrial Center here, beautiful Midtown Detroit, Michigan, the IT in the D show, presented to you by DetroitNet.org. This is episode nine, hipsters and foodies and check-ins, oh my. Uh, we got a couple great um, guest stars in here today. We have Annette from Yelp. Hello. How are you? I'm doing great. And we also have rock star recruiter extraordinaire, Steve Gora from Aero Strategies. Welcome aboard, sir. Well, thank you for having me. Good, good. So, yeah, like I said, this is episode nine. Um, once again, it is raining outside, which has become a trend for this show. It's mild. It is. I swear to God, one of these days I'm going to make every single break segment. Uh, it's going to be I Love a Rainy Night by Eddie Money. Uh, it's going to be <laughs> Eddie, Ra- o- Eddie Rabbit. Eddie Rabbit. It's going to be uh, I'm Only Happy When It Rains by Garbage. Oh. Uh, yeah, Rainy Days and Mondays always get me down. That's that's what it's, yeah, that's going to be our break every single week. So we, we will be taking phone calls today. Uh, the number is 313 313- Four six two, oh one oh seven. Look at us. We actually have we, a cheat sheet we and actually paperwork, have a cheat sheet. and we're we're trying to be all prepared. <laughs> Notes for once. Um, <laughs> or you can get us on Twitter at it in the d. Um, again, this is Bob the Sales Guy here with Jeff the Voice of Reason, Dave the Geek from DetroitNet.org. Um, if this is your first time listening, if you want to read up a little about us, hit us up at DetroitNet.org. We got a blog series, or just um, it in the d dot com. Or it easier. easier. Yeah, absolutely. Um, but yeah, welcome to the show. Right, so we wanted to. So we've got uh, the two guests in studio. Uh, obviously, <clears throat> you know, with the hipsters and foodies and check-ins. Oh my! Oh my! Um, you know, we 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 found over the course of the past few episodes, or the you know the eight episodes that we've done so far, uh, that social media apps are something that folks are keen on and want to yak about and talk about. So Annette is the community manager for now. Is it Metro Detroit or is it all of Michigan? I, I want to make sure I get it right. Metro Detroit. Okay. Yes. For Yelp.com. Um, and then as uh, Bob had mentioned, Steve's a recruiter with Aero Strategies who's been floating our floating around our events for years now. Um, and he's a really good guy. Pretty much since day one. Yeah, basically ever since we hopped over to the Black Fen. Yep. Um, and speaking of which, you know, so just, you know, the, the whole opening segment, let's get some business out of the way. Uh, we do have an event this Thursday night uh, for those that are in and around the IT industry. We always, you know, we used to be very hardcore geek about it, but we've kind of loosened up at the request of the recruiters <laughs> that came to our events. Uh, so, you know, if you're a, a project manager, a an analyst, you know, graphics folks, uh, designers, anything in and around IT, you know, basically as long as you're not a multi-level marketing guy or looking to sell somebody that insurance we're good for you right uh <laughs> no affleck guy. right no affleck <laughs> uh, unless you're gilbert gottfried we will accept oh, gilbert gottfried or our yeah, absolutely. Event. uh <laughs> so that is this thursday uh the 15th we will be our our, our first foray in an inaugural arbor. event in ann arbor after many many years thanks to begging and pleading us to come there yeah so i mean and we're going the... kicking and screaming <laughs> <That's right. laughs> we are going back. and and it, was, it wasn't no, going to start out that not way not in arbor no right well but then last week you know we had uh I'm, I'm about to do it again. I really am. Don't I'm about call to. Go, I am. I'm about. No, I'm about to call him the wrong name again. Oh. Uh, we had Mark come in <laughs> from uh, Wolverine Technical Staffing, uh, and they're the guys that Steve found Dave. Yes, yeah, Steve, Dave, Mark, Bob, yeah. Scott, whatever. <laughs> Schwa, yeah, hashtag. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> hashtag hashtag CC. Uh, no, so I mean, you know, we had uh, you know Mark was in last week from Wolverine Technical Staffing, and they're the folks that basically called our bluff and said, okay, look, you know, you guys are. You know, you've always kind of, you know, flirted around with Ann Arbor. We found you the bar. We found you the room. We found you everything. You have no excuse. Right. Take we're, them to Ann Arbor. Right. We're going to yeah, exactly take them to Ann Arbor. No, 
not Ann Arbor. Uh, so, yeah, we're going to be over at Connor O'Neill's, which is right on Main Street. And uh, we've actually got the event listings out on Yelp. Uh, they're out on our website as well, uh, which, again, you can find at DetroitNet.org or ITNTheD.com. And it should be pretty solid. I mean, we've, we've got a lot of great response from people, uh, both from the recruiting side and, you know, folks in the industry that are just looking to hang out with us for the first time, as well as people looking for gigs. Uh, the, so, I mean, it should be a pretty packed house. I'm looking forward to it. On top of that, um, definitely mark your calendars for 919 because that's coming up quickly. Uh, it's going to be. We a, haven't even announced that yet. We haven't. Yeah, that's not that. actually official. So it's yeah. not a, can well, we, it, well, it's, it's, oh, oh, well, apparently it is now. Did well, I break the seal? Yeah, yeah, yeah thanks, you, you thanks, kind of did. Yeah. So you go to box for two minutes, you feel shame. <laughs> yeah. uh, Nobody shushes. Right. <laughs> that's right. And we shush Bob Walton <laughs> No, no, no. <laughs> no. So I, you know, what Bob's alluding to is so on nine nineteen, uh, we are heading back downtown actually to St Andrews Hall. Uh, to re- do, hopefully do a, a, a second edition of what we did back on 31313, another one of our pink slip party events. Mm-hmm. Uh, and we'll, I'm sure, dive into that further in the coming weeks. But, you know, obviously we want to talk about, you know, this Thursday in Ann Arbor at this one. Um, and then, you know, yak with our guests in studio. So just from a, a, a social perspective and, and everything else, you know, one of the things that we were kind of yakking about over the course of the day you know, one of the, the big events that's coming up here in the area is the Dream Cruise this weekend. Mm. Um, and, and I've pretty much come to the conclusion that the Dream Cruise out here is like... So I used to live in Washington, D.C., and so the Dream Cruise here is what the 4th of July is down in D.C. Like, you either build your entire year around it, and it's something you live for and love and can't wait to happen. It's very polarizing. Yeah, or yeah. you plan your vacation so that you get the hell out of town and you're nowhere near when it happens. Well, this past Saturday... Um, I got plans with with a friend of mine. She lives in Birmingham. With your new car. With my new your new se- old car. My seventy six Cadillac convertible, right? And I said, Hey, let's just go, you know, hit a bar, do do whatever. So I as I'm driving through Birmingham on Woodward, she lives off old Woodward, and I go, There's people everywhere, everywhere. on lawn chairs. Yep. There have been people everywhere on Woodward for like the past two weeks. So I, I pick her up and says, What do you want to do? I says, Woodward is crazy right now. Let's, you know, See what's going on. And it was actually, if that was the Woodward Dream Cruise, I would love it because... There's like one-tenth of the people there. <laughs> oh, probably one one-hundredth. Right. But it was, you know... Well, it's actually probably one of the good things about this whole Ann Arbor event for us is we've actually made the mistake of having our events at the Blackfin when the Woodward Dream Cruise was going on. Yeah, and some it people made, hate us for that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's, it's made it an absolute nightmare. Oh, it's right? unreal to park. Exactly. It's unreal to anything in the oh the, nowhere to park. It, 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 just getting off of six ninety six and to the Blackfin instead of a four minute drive becomes a forty minute drive. So my car gets like six miles of the gallon if I'm lucky. And I'm, I'm lucky. You, you sure you don't have that reversed? Isn't it like six gallons to the mile? Pretty, pretty much. And I'm watching the, the gas tank just go lower. And I'm like, I need gas. And I go, There's a Shell station. I'll pull in. And as I'm pulling in, there must be a thousand people sitting in this ga- Shell gas station. I'm like, what am I gonna do? I don't know where the next gas station is. Like literally, there's guys taking pictures. They wouldn't move. They were like stopping taking pictures of your vehicle, of my vehicle in front of my car. And I'm like, <laughs> I, 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 excuse me, I need to get some it, gas, there, please. Yeah, the gas right there. Like, and then you know, the, the other guys had to yell at him to move. Right. I'm, I'm not excuse gonna, me, car guy, Instagram hipster. Would you right. please get out of my way? Well, that's what I was I tell, gonna say. They have to be the first to have it on Instagram. Otherwise, it's no good. Right. right. But, like, you know, then I get gas, and then everyone wants to talk to me about my car. I'm like, I just drive it. I, you yeah, know, I, what are you it, supposed to it, say? It what do you cool. got out of the hood, I, man? <laughs> it looked cool. I don't know, an engine? I bought it. That's what I said. I go, I found it on the internet and bought it. And I, I discovered it. three weeks after I bought it that it has an 8-track player in it. <laughs> but it's kind of like, you know, like, remember we went to uh, at the Blackfin event, and it was bike night. Yeah. And all the bike guys park, and then they stand out there, and it's like, and it's just like the and car they're, and like, they're staring at your vehicle. And, Wait, but what did they talk they, about? They discuss like, physics and properties right? of physics. Yeah. And, no. and <laughs> so every, the whole time it was just me mocking, going, "Look at that one! Look at that one! Wow! Oh, look at that one! Hey, man! Look at that one!" You know, granted there was some cool cars out there, but it's like, <laughs> I, you know, I'm one of the guys that doesn't get it. Yeah, I, I like cars like everybody else does, but you know, people travel across the country to, to come to the Dream Cruise. I, I, it. You know, I grew up in Metro Detroit, and I still don't get it. You want traffic, you just know, go on I'm, 696 in the morning. You know? Right, yeah, exactly. <laughs> right, yeah. Take, take my commute from the east side to Farmington Hills. There's your traffic. That's that's the dream cruise. Well, and one of the, you know, so, I mean, I, I know you've and that you've got the event listed out there, you know, as, as, an, as a, an event that's going on in the area. I mean, is it getting a lot of traction? Is it? Yeah, I think more 
than anything, it always ends up eliciting like a, a heated talk thread that like sort of polarizes Kinda people. Kind of like this. Yeah, yeah exactly. Right. Some people who are like, oh, I'm mock it incessantly. Going to it. Yeah, and then other people are like, oh, I hate it, and that makes living in Ferndale awful, or you know. Right. Well, our old boss used to live right off 12 in Woodward, wasn't it? Yeah, right by Shrine Church. And, and yep. she literally moved away because of the Dream Cruise. She got tired of people. Yeah, she would take a vacation the entire month of yeah. August just to get the heck out of I must have saw 30 people pulled over Saturday night. Um, like there's a Ferrari that was next to me. And, you know, Lamborghinis and Ferraris, I'm going to be like, oh, cool. You yeah. don't see them very often. And this guy's chirping his tires. Well, driving, he probably got booed at the Dream Cruise, too. Driving like a, yeah. Well, not, oh, it was an article really. today about the new classics and how, yeah. like, you know, the, uh, you know, the, 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 the old time, you know, the, the you know, I, I guess yeah, you could call them hipster Dream Cruisers. Uh, like my car? No. People that are like, you know, oh, you <laughs> You're know. You're not wearing flannel while driving it, though. No, no. <laughs> well, no. Like there's a, uh, oh, what is it? The, the Crossfire. Like there's an international crossfire crossfire club what? And, you know and they're trying to you know how it's you know it's the cool moment in time when daimler and chrysler were together Good and so, Lord. The and so that, of equals. yeah exactly yeah, the, yeah that worked out well uh i think yeah wasn't that how like germany phrased things to the rest of europe at one point <laughs> <laughs> it's not clear. i'm gonna spit, spit out my beer um no, so I mean they're talking about how you know the new classics and how those aren't really accepted by you know the the normal the hearts, mill, you yeah. know dream cruisers and well you know you really can't blame them. I mean it's supposed to be you know yeah eventually everything becomes a classic if you, if it lives long enough. Um, but it, I did yeah. see the car I had in high school, which was a uh, eighty-eight seventy-four Mustang. Chevelle. No, no, it was an eighty-eight Mustang. And I'm like it was in perfect shape. Yeah, that like, that's not a good yet. I mean I, I know you technically qualify for the twenty-five right. year plates, but yeah, no. <laughs> You should buy it. You should buy one, Bob. Buy my old car? Yes. Well, it'll be like, the reason I bought this Cadillac is because when I was growing up, my dad had a 78 Cadillac, a pink one. Get the four-cylinder um, Mustang. Oh, that's what I had. No, I had that. <laughs> your your, your dad your had a pink Stick Cadillac? Ship. My dad nice. had a, a primrose, like a dark pink. Well, now, see, the and awesome part of that is my old buddies. Like I had, 78, 77? I had two buddies in high school, and one of them had, you know, the, the really ugly body Mustang, like the one they were doing in, the like, Katang. the middle eighty. Yeah. <laughs> Um, and then like I had Capri a, with the Mustang after parts. Well, and that's so I had I had the buddy that had the Mercury Capri. Yeah, and he's the one that went out and put yeah. And Kurt, if you happen to be out there listening, ha, no, uh, we called those Katangs. Well, it was no, he, and he put like the you know the Mustang decal across the top of the windshield and had like you know the like Mustang everything all over the car. But it was a Capri, and he was like, "Well, but but it's the same car." Well, but no, but it's no, no, not. No, 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 it's not. Mercury, did, you yeah. the, did you have the Kelvin pissing on something? No, I think that was more of a 90s thing. Calvin yeah. pissing on Calvin pissing on Calvin. I wanted well, that. The meta Calvin. So I mean it's it's but, becoming so it's I mean it's a it's a polarizing <laughs> yak fest on Yelp as well. Yeah, um you know, most things are polarizing yak fest. I had <laughs> noticed. <laughs> um you know, there are definitely some opinionated um you know, but that's Yelp. Everyone's got their own opinion. So, but so so you have it listed as an event. So, I, but Yelp is tied to specific businesses and 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 locations. So, how does that work with the Dream Cruise, which spans multiple cities and multiple? You know. Yeah. Um. I mean, basically, we have an event calendar that you know we we try and sort of foster a community both online and out, offline through the site, and that part of that is events and not okay. only lo- listing our own events but also events that are happening within certain communities gotcha so for the dream cruise where it's not you know one specific location i mean we basically just write in along woodward from right. you know <laughs> check in yeah. here <laughs> exactly that sort of thing well, so, gps coordinates can span like 15 miles yeah, exactly <laughs> I, I checked in at the dream cruise and then i checked into the dream cruise well, yeah. and then i checked <laughs> into the, the dream, dream cruise. cruise four hours later i yeah. checked into my lawn chair on the boulevard although i will that. say I, I i think that people so you know bob and i went and did this uh went to check out this whole wrestling thing yesterday with uh xicw those guys and they were with the ritz and warren you make it sound like this is the first time you've done this i mean <laughs> for <laughs> crying out, oh yeah we went to go Check this out. I'm, I'm you essentially lay, run the thing. I'm trying to lay low, dude. <laughs> Whatever, dude. Uh, but Beer, it, was, it was funny because the, the bartender, like, so the business actually had a you know, basically BOGO, like a buy one, get one free, you know, drink offer. Whoever said BOGO? BOGO, what is, what yeah. Is, what is that? MOBO? What? <laughs> oh, yeah, I, I got your MOMO right here. Uh, <laughs> but and, and it was funny because, I mean, and, and that's one of the things, like, when you and I were talking about you coming on the show, like, what business is doing thing I've ever heard, stuff. BOGO. <laughs> it's buy one, get one. <laughs> I, I, well, could you just what? say that? <laughs> well, apparently that takes too long. <laughs> well, now that you've had this whole conversation about it, and, it certainly and, and lengthened. Yeah, the- and, and, and that, there's Bob's mute button. Yeah. <laughs> Annette, welcome to IT in the D. <laughs> well, no, but I mean, so I mean, like you know, the bartender was 
like taken aback. Like she had no idea that this, you know, offer was out there and, and then that kind of stuff. And that's, you know, one of the things I wanted us to get into later is, you know, the whole business is using Yelp. But I mean, it, it does feed in with, you know, who's on Yelp and, and, and what do people do there and, and how does that all fly? I mean, do you want me to take that? Yeah, right dive now? in. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, um, I mean, I've certainly seek like made up a, a point to look for places that have check-in offers just because i'd like to save money and get sweet free stuff and um like do I you went, find people don't use them though because like i don't like wasn't not that, that, that i feel awkward but i'm like hey i gotta buy one get one free on my but isn't phone. that like group groupons down you know, as well I, you know i mean the, the nice thing about the check-in offer is that it's controllable by the business so they can take it up Put it down, you know. Put it up, take it down whenever they want. Mm. Put it whatever they want. So it can be everything from you know one free soda with your meal to you know uh, you know buy one get one free drink or something. You know what I mean? Like it's 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 not really meant to um, you know kind of kill their business, but is an incentive for somebody coming in. And then the idea is, but that is it? A, it's more of a surprise. You're not walking in there. With you that can in look mind. it up. You can look it up on your. Oh, to on, see who has them running. Yeah, yeah. Okay. If you go right. To the, so it'll be up to the individual establishment though to come over and monitor that. So it's actually somebody's job at these individual bars or restaurants, right? To in put that, that up, whoever. Well, you would assume they have a social media coordinator, like you know Billy. We've had. That's here. what I mean. Yeah. yeah. So it's somebody's job, like Billy's. To I don't to think the Ritz has a social that. media coordinator. <laughs> Otherwise, well, you, you be, don't think so. Like, <laughs> well, it could be the manager, or some some person that works there. It doesn't still have to be somebody that they bring in, um, but somebody in house that just decides. Well, I will I will manage the Yelp account. And let's put up a, a, a you know a check-in offer. Most recently, I went to um, Toasted Oak and Novi restaurant there for my mom's birthday, and it was a check-in offer with a f- you know free kielbasa appetizer. And we were like, that's nice. pretty good. Happy birthday, like mom! Kibasa. You know. So, all right. So, <laughs> but you knew that going in. So, like, how did that work? I mean, walk us through so, that. So, so you can do a thing where you go to the Yelp app, and then when you do. Um, uh, nearby, there's a little option where you click nearby, and then you go to more categories, and then there will be yeah. That just changed recently with the new yeah, nearby, that just came out. Nearby is a little, yeah. a little more pimped out. They do stuff like n- events happening nearby, restaurants, different types of food, you know, that sort of thing. I want to publish my reviews on my mobile on my app and i have to check in i have to log in on my computer so i i just got the cool little email that said hey dear yelp elite people uh-huh. um you know we we do have an upgrade coming and it's available for the iphone but for those of us that are not i drones it's not there yet it's coming it's coming very soon <laughs> you want to tell the story how you became yelp elite by the way yes how, how do you have to what yeah, what? Yeah, and so it, how do you get how do you get onto that A list? The, the rest of the, above hipster. Yeah, the, the rest of us are all Dave plus one. Yeah, <laughs> no. So it made me laugh. So you know, and, and Annette knows the story. So you know, last year I, I was just kind of floating around the site and checking out stuff. And and this is one of the things we're going to talk about later. Is you know Yelp throws like a big party every year. And last year it was at the uh, Fillmore Mm -hmm. Um, and it was, you know, Yelp turns it up to 11 and it was, you know, they had all these vendors and all these local businesses and I'm talking to Bob and I'm like, dude, we got to go. It'll be, you know, all like a lot of people that we're looking to talk to for what we were going to do on 313 with IT and the D and everything else. I'm like, it'll be a good hookup. Well, we get there and all these people are just like slammed and overwhelmed by like just uh, they didn't know what they're getting people. themselves into. Yeah. Yeah. There's like a job fair with people handing out food. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, is that a bad thing for you, though? No, they're, they're, they're GM. Why is there 472 people in line? Right. For that? It's like all the good food had like, you know, yeah. 3,000 people. Yeah, they're passing Black, out fillets. Well, yeah, Blackfin has bacon wrapped meatballs. There's Every, a line so everywhere. Everywhere. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Bacon and people are ready. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But I mean, it, you know, so it was kind of, you know, so at, at the end, you know, I, I got home that night and I, you know, I kind of thought about it and I wrote an event. I, I wrote a review of the event that, you know, wasn't necessarily the most flattering thing ever. <laughs> well, when we checked in, he did the, um, what was it? The Toy Story meme? And it's like, hipsters, hipsters everywhere. You know, and, <laughs> oh, dude, yeah, it was, yeah, yeah that's like all you saw for miles. Um, and, and so, you know, I, and it was funny because I had like three people that day. Did that show up on your radar, Annette? What? <laughs> hipsters, hipsters oh, everywhere. Oh, you know, I, I don't even, that night I was such a blur, I don't even remember. Oh, yeah, honestly. she was running at a million miles an hour that <laughs> night. Right. Um, and so, I, like, I had like three people the next day that shot me an email. They were like, dude, just so you know, I, to- I totally ever. nominated you for Yelp Elite. They, they need somebody like you that's going to, like, be honest and real oh, so you have to be thing. nominated. So the point of your story is you have to be nominated for that. Well, apparently, yeah. Or you can nominate yourself, and then oh, it goes. Don't tell Bob that. Yeah. <laughs> well, you can. It's an option. You just go to yelp.com backslash elite. <laughs> you can read about it, and uh, if you feel like you have been, you know, active enough on the site, you can nominate yourself, and that goes to our little. Uh, council and headquarters that kind of reviews everything. Meanwhile, in the Legion of Doom. Exactly. They're, they're, they're very secret, cloaked, cloaked uh, 
you know, group. And cigar, stuff. cigar, smoke filled room. Exactly. Yeah, they got robes, chalices, robes, and, paddles, and the whole know, nine yards. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thank um, you. May I have another uh, Yelp elite? I know. So. Well, and, and I will say this. You know, I, I like. I really, I truly didn't get it. Like, and, and we've had this conversation mm-hmm. on the boards before because I'm out there floating around as well. Um, like, you know, the whole okay, so Yelp elite. What what's the cool? Yeah. Factor what does that get it? you? Other right. than the other than the uh, the you socks. Get to hold bars hostage. The socks are pretty sweet though. Which well, yeah, because I'm not allowed near them. My wait, wife. Wait, the what is? We ha- we have these uh, Yelp elite knee socks that were the gift this year. That my mm-hmm. what that Anita just adopted right off the bat. No, I'm, I'm not even allowed. It's near what Dave should have worn tonight. I'm it, not allowed near it's them. When Dave, the it's when Dave goes to restaurants. Do you know who I am? I'm Yelp Elite. Right, yeah, that's yeah. me. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's so me. Actually, actually, all of his restaurant uh, reviews get published immediately. Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, but like, so, you know, there was that one event over in Dearborn, over at Bailey's, mm-hmm. um, and it was, a, it was a quote unquote Yelp Elite event, and it was like, literally, I walked out of there going, holy crap, now I get it. Mm-hmm. Everyone wants to be elite. Trust me. <laughs> um, just because. Oh, yeah, I do, don't do that. Uh, just, I mean, it was it was really really cool because I mean it was you know it was uh, was it Great Lakes Brewing Company? <laughs> no, it was uh, Tenth and Blake. Tenth and Blake. Yeah. That's right. Uh, that was in and hanging out. And it was like you know beer samples mm-hmm. and some phenomenal food. And Bailey's was a great venue, and it was just a really really cool it was thing. Like five courses with beer, beer pairings. And- and, and, and wow! It, and it was outstanding. And it was. Free. I was saying Rob just chimed in on Facebook and said, "Yeah, it's the same as the pig and whiskey. It was all hipsters and hillbillies and something." <laughs> I mean, else. anytime, nice. anytime you have a lot of food vendors in one one place, I mean, that's sort of. Well, but there, there, right, Bob, a lot of, Bob, there were a lot of you, you, like, you nominate a lot of really me, cool you. Sold, yeah. done. Yeah, we'll, nice. we'll all be elites. You'll be circular Steve, recommendation you want in on this. <laughs> yeah, why not? There you That's go. right. Bob nominates Jeff. Jeff nominates Steve. Steve <laughs> nominates Bob, and then we're all in. Yep. <laughs> we all get bacon wrapped bacon. <laughs> bacon wrapped bacon. Nice. I, I have fifty followers on uh, Instagram, guys, so I should be elite already. <laughs> <laughs> I heard the new hotness is taking pictures of people taking pictures of their food. That's a, that's a new thing. The meta Instagram? Well, the meta yeah. Yelp? Absolutely. The wall of mirror sort of thing. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> All right. Well, I'll tell you what. Believe it or not, we are actually hitting up against our first break. Uh, so let's, uh, let's take a few here. And then when we come back, I want to dive into, because the next big party is coming up on mm. September 5th yeah. uh, over at St. Andrews right before us. And we'll dive in with Steve to hear what Aero Strategies has going on and all the gigs. And yeah, all of our uh, non-elite people need to get approved on that wait list here. You know? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, you don't Bob... have to be elite to come to this party. That's the nope, sweet thing. No, but you need thing. to be approved, right? You need to, be, you need to RSVP in time. How oh, about that? Oh, there you go. <laughs> it says right. the IT and the D show, Raw Radio X. We'll be right back. Over. Did you say over? Nothing is over until we decide it is. Was it over when the Germans bombed Pearl Harbor? Hell no! German? Forget it, he's rolling. Thank you, Charles Demar. Uh, <laughs> we are back. The IT and the Boogers. D. Show. <laughs> we are back. The IT and the D show presented by Raw um, on Raw Radio X, presented by DetroitNet.org. We got Bob, the sales guy, here with uh, Jeff, the voice of reason, Dave, the geek. Join with us, uh, Ned from Yelp, Steve Gora from Aero Strategies. Dave, thank you for the uh, the flashback on the German pop. I don't know where German pop has gone, but there's there's no Falco, there's no Nana. Even Hasselhoff, there's there's nothing today. <laughs> uh, bring back. <laughs> well, Hasselhoff qualifies as German pop. Now. Absolutely. Nice. If you want to join us, the call number is 313-462-0107. Or so hit us. If you'd like to stop Bob from talking about German pop. Yeah. And, no, and you, please, for the love of God, cut him off before he starts on RoboCop I'm 2. For the, the, free. So, 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 Dave, you saw what I did there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or hit us up on Twitter on IT and the D or Detroit Net. Yeah, but first segment we've been talking about uh, kind of you know, a little bit of everything, a little bit of everything, nonsense, yeah. Woodward Dream Cruise, and all that. But we um, 
you know, one of the one of the uh, the recruiters that has been with us since day one at uh, Detroit Net meetings has been Steve from Arrow Strategies. And while we, you know, dare say that you've, I remember that day one, he came in wearing a suit and tie, suit and tie, and we yeah, um, we told him we'd never come back again unless <laughs> unless you took the tie off. <laughs> like, don't, still, don't make us cut that off. You. He That's still right. wears ties on. Yeah, occasionally. Yeah. So I'm a victim of uh, one of the original "Don't Be That Guys." Uh, which is okay. I remember. Oh, somebody uh, told you that, huh? You <laughs> did. <laughs> oh, that was. Damn, networking Detroit one beer at a time. Well, you did at Post. Uh, I think uh, the guy from uh, Host Mojo was bought the bar for a little oh, bit. Oh, Mojo. Yeah, yeah, Brad. And, yeah, Brad. Uh, shots ensued, and and yet. Oh, he that's right. The truth. Yeah, God, yeah, yeah. God bless Brad. And, the, and that, see what happens and, when and you do that open was, bar. That, that was the, yeah. that was the key that unlocked the, the vault of Dave, and he spilled everything. <laughs> it, it, that usually involves shots. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, in all honesty, I think that was the most gentlest. Don't be that guy. It wasn't like you know, I hate you. Don't ever come back. It was like yeah, just make well, a little yeah, bit of a left turn, and you're well, going to yeah, be gold. It, it, it's know. called even that guy deserves help. But I mean, it, and it's true. I mean, it, it went. I mean, you are one of our go-to guys now. I mean, when somebody says, hey, I need a job or I need this or I need that and they're solid, you're one of the four names that I give them to. Yep. Well, I, I appreciate that for sure. And and, and I think networking, I, I've been at Arrow for seven years now. It was just my seven-year anniversary last week. Congrats. Thank you. Um, we started when he was 13. 13. Yeah, right. right. And, <laughs> and it's, the it's like Ralph Macho. It doesn't it, age. <laughs> it's, it's like the old bull, the the uh, the father bull and the son bull standing at the top of the hill and the you know the blah blah blah. You guys know the rest yeah. of the story. We've all seen colors. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, I was that little kid bull trying to run down right, and uh, it, it took me a minute to figure out what like networking was, how to talk to people what it really meant in, in well and, and we've all been there yeah. we've all been there i yeah. talked about that last week i think where i was like that when i first started you know i used to cold call i don't know if you know the story steve i used to cold call dave that's how we met and i was the you know hey man hey man move your service move your service hey man i got great colo and then by the time i finally said hey let's just have a beer and talk about life that's when i kind of broke the you know broke the proverbial window and now you're like archie bunker and his wife <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> archie <laughs> In in regards to the suits, uh, it it still happens. I I wear a suit ninety percent of my life. So well, I, it's I, the nature well, of the beast I mean, with your why, job. Well, yeah, that's that you have to. But I mean, we're, you know, we're just giving you the business for that. Oh, I pre- appreciate. Like, <laughs> uh, when we were supposed to do this a few weeks back, I walked into a Third Street Bar wearing a suit, uh, a tie. <laughs> I mean, uh, I saw the crowd. I go, I'm gonna go take this off. Yeah, this hipsters, <laughs> hipsters everywhere. Yeah, this, this is. Yeah, they might suit, lynch they think me. I'm an FBI agent, <laughs> right? Like, what are you doing here? Yeah, you shouldn't have just flash a badge. <laughs> <laughs> well, we get together. Not, I don't know if anybody knows. We get together at a bar um, right on kind of Cass Corridor called Third Street, and for the first hour, the whole they have Jeopardy playing, and it's full blast on the stereo, and everyone's arguing about the answers. And what then, is and, like Titicaca? Right. <laughs> And then that's at, not what your mother said last <laughs> night, Trebek. <laughs> and then at eight o'clock they play pro, they play WWF wrestling and, and, whole, and, and full and, volume. And, and, full and volume. so we have to drag Bob out of there, <laughs> yeah. kicking and screaming. Every he's week. like, wait, no, this is a good part. So I mean, it's full of Jeopardy and wrestling people. Yeah, and Steve comes and in PBR. Suit. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, you're all gonna have to leave now. <laughs> so needless to say, I don't fit in. But uh, uh, yeah, things are good. Uh, the, the market. I mean, so let me guess. Dot net. You're uh, hiring for? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Common theme. .NET developers. Mobile yeah. app. Mobile app. Once again, Bob, let them talk. <laughs> if, if we couldn't find .NET developers, we need, I mean, we need as many recruiters as we need .NET developers. Really? So, so really? You're, you're, you're hiring there. for recruiters? Oh, absolutely. Um, the challenge is, is if you're a good recruiter, you're making big bucks. But the the, the thing that kind of we're, we're going to try to do a little bit different, we're willing to pay. So... If there's any uh, any big shot recruiters out there that are making money right now, we'll definitely talk to them about it. Um, well, I guess that's true. I mean, if you're used to you know making your living off the commissions you have built up and, and the accounts that you're running, I mean, yeah, you jump someplace else and you're essentially starting over. Oh, absolutely. And well, you guys are always well, good about you guys are always good about bringing in recruiters based on like if you got a rock star personality and you're kind of might not be on the right career path kind of bringing them in and teaching them the ropes. So you guys have always been real good about that. Well, right. how do, how does that work with the recruiters then? I mean, is it you can't bring the talent with you. It's like, you know, it's like for developers, like if you're, you know, jumping ship and you can't work at that same customer site for six months or, you know, I don't know how that works with recruiters. It, every company is a little bit different in terms of their non-competes. Um, a lot of companies say that you can't, you can't call the same people again. Right. Right. So, so ever or time limit, or? Uh, usually a year is most places that, I, that, that we've seen it. We've encountered anyways, some places are, are non-competes even holding up anymore with right to work or they are, they are really. Um, yeah. I mean, it's, it's not worth the, 
the the battle. You know, getting a lawyer. The, yeah. yeah. The problem the problem is, is I've seen lawsuits go both ways where I've seen them fight them and you just. And I've seen people win. I've seen people lose. Well, and it's just you a war of attrition. It, it is. Oh, that, that, I mean, whoever has the, the patience and a little bit deep pockets. Right. Oh, I- I- exactly. And you get into a battle, and then all of a sudden, at the, two years later, you come out with... With nothing. With nothing. What's, w- yeah, or yay, you were right, and this could have been done a year ago if you would have just shut up and run with it. And and here's what your lawyer fees are for, for right. two years of trying to... Yeah, thank you, to, sir. May I have another? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Exactly. So it's in the, which is kind of a, a sticky situation in that regard. Um, some companies are just too lazy to even instill a non compete because they just don't want to deal with it. It, it. it all depends. Sometimes they, uh, if people come back to Metro Detroit, then then we're all about taking them on. That that's that's definitely an easy way. Or if they want to go to Chicago, we have a Chicago office, a Hartford office. If someone wants to move out of town. That are successful recruiter will definitely will look at them for sure. Interesting. Um, so you guys are busting at the seams on Metro Detroit. And- we are. Um, seven years ago when I started, we were about a four million dollar company. Right now, we're we're expected to be about a forty five million dollar company. This nice. Year. Wow. So, what do you attribute that to? Dot dot net. Net. <laughs> dot <million. laughs> no, um, it, um, a million of different things. Um, one of them is, or or about thirty nine point five million different things. Yeah, thirty nine. <laughs> But uh, one of them is our biggest account is Blue Cross Blue Shield. They're they're blowing up right now with healthcare reform, right. um, which is kind of segmented into our next segment of growth, which is on the medical side. We've we hired a new VP to head up our medical division, um, who's doing nurses, nurse reform stuff like that. Phrasing, comma, <laughs> a nurse. It's all about grammar. Yeah, yeah. Um, working with nurses, working with not nurses. doing nurses, not doing Let's nurses. <laughs> I mean, well, again, not here to judge, but <laughs> but, you'll, but you'll correct it. Oh so uh, help your uncle, of course. That's right. I'm, I'm gonna help, I'm gonna help my uncle. Don't even say it. Don't even I say it. I want I this didn't. to be a meme on Reddit tomorrow. By the way. <laughs> <laughs> um. No, cool. So I mean, and, and I guess Annette, you know, you know, you you've kind of got a little bit of a finger on the pulse of the Metro Detroit area. Mm-hmm. You know, just talking about people moving back and that kind of stuff. I mean, I've noticed. Uh, you know, just hanging out on the boards and that kind of stuff that it, it does seem like it's it's picking up a little bit. And there are more and more people that are chiming in with, hey, I'm coming in town to check things out for a job or, hey, I'm you know, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about looking at an apartment in this area. What do you guys think? And that kind of stuff. I mean, is, is that something you kind of keep tabs on or? Yeah, I mean, it's always, you know, refreshing to see people moving back rather than, you know, saying I'm out of here. So every time I see a post where somebody says, you know, hey, I'm moving back because of a job or my husband got a job, my wife, like whatever, um, you know, we're moving back. And, and it's always interesting to see what people recommend in terms of where they Well, there's always live. Mike and, and or Mick, you know, <laughs> good, good old shout out if you're listening, uh, you know, which is, you know, don't come, abandon all hope, ye who enter here. It's all doom and gloom and you'll be killed in a drive by in four seconds. Yeah. Yeah, I and think then there's everybody else, which is like, <laughs> Mick, shut up. <laughs> I mean, you know, obviously you need to, you know, be be cautious and things like that. But yeah, it's it's definitely not as as you yeah, know. it's not quite RoboCop yet. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, you're welcome. Um, but you know, Bob I mean, just wants to run OCP. <laughs> I do. I work for. Just, You've always been the number two guy. <laughs> I can live with that. <laughs> Uh, yeah, no, I mean, it's just, it's just, you know, kind of a really exciting time. You know, I've been, I've been with Yelp for, it'll be three years in October. Really? And, yep. And, um, yeah, so it's, it's really, it's been nice to see that grow, not just with the site itself, but the city itself. It's a really. So, and like, and this is, I guess on that point, so like, this is your job that, yes. that like you are the yeah, Yelp community manager. That is a job. It's not something you like us idiots that do this stuff laughingly <laughs> in what we call our free time. It's your gig. It's, I mean, it's, it's full time plus, like morning, noon, and night. You know. And where do you go? To, I mean, do you have an office somewhere? Is it, I am Yelp? the office. So, so you work I out work, of your home. I work from home wherever yeah. I'm at. Which we know. all saw on a very special episode of House Hunters a few months ago. That is true. You did get to peek <laughs> into my my pre. Is you this know, true? Yeah, it was really? true. It's true. It, it aired the night we were at the uh, Sugar Bush. Is that true that you not already, Sugar Bush. You already Sugar bought house. the house and they go back and they kind of like do a recreation? That's what I always heard House Hunters no, was. No, no comment on that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she, she signed <laughs> a bunch of agreements. <laughs> yeah. We don't want to get the lawyers I in here. Can't talk specifics. But... Right. Speaking of lawyers and non-competes and non-disclosures. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no. So, I mean, yeah. I mean, it was the night that we had the event at Sugar House. It was uh, an Ann Arbor episode. Yeah. The night of the big Ann Arbor bas- basketball game. Yep. So. 
it got more views and rerun probably locally than it did in the initial watch. So, so how does one find a job at Yelp? Like, if there's no office here, did you find a posting online at Yelp.com and you were genuinely interested and said, hey, this sounds cool? Kind of, yeah. I had been living in, I'm from uh, the Detroit area. Okay. I grew up here. I moved to Chicago for school. And uh, moved back, then moved back to Chicago for grad school. And while I was out in grad school, I wrote a food blog that nobody read. Like, I mean, just not, nothing. Like, you had like my, a blog nobody read? It was like my just mom. Like everyone I know, else right? On the planet. Nice. And, uh, exactly. And so I started writing on Yelp because I realized that people were reading that and they were commenting and I could create this but sort already of had the like, community. Yeah, yeah, a dialogue with people. Yeah, go to where the eyeballs are. Exactly. And um, I became elite, a Yelp elite. And um, through that, did you nominate yourself? I actually didn't. I didn't. I don't know who did, but I was like, "Ooh, this is exciting!" And I went to a couple of elite events, and so I had a kind of a handle and knew what it was like. And then um, I had been looking to move back to Michigan for about two years. I graduated grad school in two thousand eight. So guess what? <laughs> like yeah. it, couldn't, yeah. it couldn't been really hard. Wah, wah, yeah. Yeah. Wah, wah. Um, and then the Yelp gig kind of posted and i fought tooth and nail and here i am so very cool yeah That's no, awesome. so like i know like we've talked about like you know interviews in the it industry and how you know it can be like a just a giant pain in the ass at times like was it, was it like a, a real long interview process was I it like a you know weeks with and weeks my boss of- we went we met for a drink and I didn't, it was one of those things where I knew that, you know, Yelp is, is very, like a very different company. Like it wasn't like every other interview I'd gone on where I was wearing a suit and everything. I went and got my nails done and they were like bright green and my mom was horrified. She's like, why nice. did you get your nails done bright green? And the first thing that she said when she sat down with me was, I love your nails. And I was like, I know, see, this is, you got to be yourself. You but know? was this all local? I mean, um, I'm, I'm embarrassed to know that. Are they West Coast based? They're are they? based in San Francisco. San Francisco, okay. Francisco yeah. But my manager um, at the time and now also is based in Chicago. Okay. Um, Although that's a remote. We have offices in San Francisco, New York, and Phoenix. Gotcha. So uh, everyone else kind of works remotely. And then we have U- European offices in, in London as well. But, um, but yeah, so it ended up just sort of being a real casual, just like chat, get to know you, what's your background. And, and uh, I had never um, had anything like that before. And I had written my cover letter. And I was so used to writing these, like, really rote, you know, like, to whom it may concern. Right, and, like, yeah, exactly, you know, blah, yeah. blah, 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 blah. I would like to and, express my interest. Uh, in the yeah. Position. My, it my just, objective is exactly. so <laughs> to dry. get a job. <laughs> and that's, that's not who I am. But, you know, so and you could tell in the cover letter that it just wasn't. But I had been so, like, pra- that was my practice was writing those. Right. So when I was writing. Well, it's the- what everybody drives into your head. Yeah, yeah. exactly. I mean, you so, must do this to get a job. So when I wrote the Yelp cover letter, they, works. I, they were like, you know, make it lively. Tell us about yourself. We want to know who you are, you know. Right, right. And my friend who is an English teacher was sort of proof- proofreading it for me. And she's like, <laughs> you're you doing s- this wrong. You sound <laughs> awful. You sound so boring. And I had to, I rewrote it like three or four times before I finally got like my voice versus like I did my master's Corporate in organizational speak. communication. So like it was very like, you know, MBA very PR without speak, the math, right. you know. Yeah. And so I, you know, finally I was able to just kind of tap into that and, you know, I guess it worked out. <laughs> so Cool. I yeah. don't know the statistic on it. I have no idea how many people actually look at a cover letter. Really? I just had an intern, and I looked at a lot of cover letters. I was going to say, I've actually read the opposite, that that depending on the the tech company, they'll look at the cover letter to... Well, I think a lot of it, about writing more so than the resume itself. I think a lot of it depends on whether or not they ask for one. Like if, if it's one of those things where it's, you know, submit your resume and cover letter to, then yeah, they're going to pay attention to it. Yeah, if, I, if guess, it's, I guess it's a it's a litmus test, too. If you're right. not paying attention, we just you know, had a be, comment on the Internet that Annette sounds just like Dave if Dave was a girl. <laughs> I don't know whether to, where to go with that. I thought <laughs> neither I do, do I. I do have a little bit of a deeper up. voice. No, not not in that sense. No, it's more like the Sheldon from uh, Big Bang Theory. Like both, you know. Oh, great! Now we're shamey. Oh, good. Nice. <laughs> good. I like being perceived as socially awkward. This is good. Let's no, keep no. it. Let's keep it going. Yeah, in, in my case, it's not a perception. So yeah. 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 So now Dave's gonna be conscious, trying to make it all deep, just baritone the rest. Oh of no, it. dude! You don't understand. He's, like, he's, very, no, wasn't he's like very white. <laughs> You'll never find. Yeah. Oh Jesus! Oh. <laughs> the one thing that in that segment. It's over. Thank you very much. The one thing that always <laughs> makes me, I guess, laugh or not laugh about Yelp, it's, Yelp scares me to ever open up a place of my own when you read the reviews and some of these like pretty decent establishments that just get absolutely destroyed. Get, yeah. Well, it's um, like it's like anything, any comment on the Internet, you got to take it with a grain of salt. You got to look for the overarching theme. You know, obviously, you're not going to please everybody. There will be the one or two kind of negative comments. And But if you're doing it right, you're overall going to be doing good, you know. And I know it's hard. Like a lot of people like 
you know, my events get reviewed. So sometimes people like Dave <laughs> kick out. The, no, I'm just teasing. Well, I, always, um, I always look at know. it as the like yeah, I belong to. I belong to a couple of German clubs in town, mm-hmm. and you could you put do? out the most amazing that he event. does not have listed on Yelp. By the way, I went and listed them I don't. for him. <laughs> um, well, but, I was going to ask a question, you know, but a the people will time. complain about. They'll find anything in these most amazing events. So I said, you guys could have Wolfgang Puck fly out to your house. Cook Chateaubriand for two, and you're gonna go. Oh, the green beans were a little cold, and they'll find the littlest thing, and that's what I look at the Yelp reviews, and I'm like, yeah, you probably had an amazing meal, and you look for these little things, and you just blow them up. And well, and I think anything, I think any reasonable person reading that will make that they'll make that decision, and they'll go, this person, it's, they're being too picky or whatever. Yeah, but I know. like when I like when the owners actually come back and say, hey, you know, I'm sorry, we're trying to make it better. A lot of times, though, the, the, the places, I think, are oblivious to it, and that's what makes it bad. You know, the, the people that are engaged, I think, are the ones that come out ahead. Yeah, I, absolutely. Well, I mean, but, I mean, I, that's social media 101. I mean, it, yeah. that doesn't matter if it's, you know, Yelp or your Facebook page or anything else. It, if, if you have a presence out there, you must pay attention to it. Mm-hmm. In, and in some cases, whether you know it's there or not, because, you know, the, there are people that are adding, you know, businesses and that kind of stuff on their own because they find places and that kind of stuff. And the business owner may not be aware of that. I mean, and is that kind of part of what you have to do is that that outreach? Like what? So what what is a community manager other than, you know, babysitting us lunatics on the message boards? You know, That's actually very, very, Mo- moderating very all of Bob's minuscule. posts. There's a minuscule part of it. Um, obviously, there's the. Like, event planning <laughs> portion of it. Um, but there's also, you know, business owner outreach, you know, telling the business owners that they do have this suite of tools that are free to use um, that are, they'll give you the ability to respond to reviewers both publicly and privately, which we do encourage them to really? do. Yeah. Yeah. And not just negative, not just being like, See, and, I, and I think I've actually mentioned this to you before is yeah. that like, you know, when I'm talking to a bar owner or something like that, and, and I've had several that are like, yeah, I have no idea what Yelp is or what it does. And then I think or, you just got a marriage proposal by uh, oh, the internet. Really? Yeah, yeah absolutely. Mm. I'm afraid. Interesting. Is it the same person that said she sounds like me? Because that's going to get really creepy really quickly. It no, it was. Yeah, not yeah, like, yeah, sh- it was, No, it was in a geek way. It wasn't in a like a like actual. So way. I have a question about was that. I'd stop the world and yelp with you. Is that what it was? <laughs> Oh. I love a good uh, party's pun. Over. I love a good pun. So I have a question about the the business thing and, yeah. and responding to people personally and or, or privately, like you said. Yeah. So we were uh, my family and I were out for, for for dinner and we we stopped at a, at a local ice cream pl- uh, spot mm-hmm. and I was using the iPhone app and I wanted to check in right mm-hmm. so I'm using Yelp more and more these days and I couldn't find that that particular business had a location listed on Yelp and I don't okay. know if it was an internet fluke or whatever and I, I I saw that you could actually add a business on the fly so I typed in the you know minimum required field and. Submitted, checked in, mm-hmm. rated, rated the business, you know, four to five stars or whatever. And then, you know, a few minutes later, as we were leaving, I noticed that my phone piped in that somebody else had actually checked in. And there was actually an, already a business listing there, had a bunch of reviews, blah, blah, blah. So now mm-hmm. there's two listings out there. So is that something that the owner will see? Or is that something that someone like yourself will have to actually go in and merge those, correct them? A little bit of both, really. I mean, that's part of my job, too, is, is we, we call keeping the site clean, making sure our right, business okay. hours are updated, all the Data listings integrity. are right. Yeah, well, that's I mean, just it. So, if I you're mean, looking for the place, you want to make sure you're finding the right exactly, place. Right. So, you know, and anybody can use it. I mean, it's a community-driven site, too. Right. So if you go on there and you see that your favorite burger joint has two listings, you can go to our contact page, which is just Yelp.com backslash contact and you can say duplicate listing and you can list both links and then they'll merge them together at uh at hq so again that's turn them into voltron so again but that's somebody's job like you know a manager or somebody that's assigned to that responsibility at that business that would actually have to go out there and do that yeah I mean, you know, well, or just a random person that hits the contact us page and says hey look and actually and good yeah, to know because i just noticed the other night that uh you know my buddy's bar the hangover uh that's over at uh 13 and grossbeck Ding. Um, has Shout out, has two well has two listings now. Yeah. You know, there's the one that I added a year ago. That's my that's my point. Opened, like I see that more there's and a more. new one that opened up. Yeah, I mean it's and it's about people that are in the community that are active on Yelp within their own community, not just like the Yelp community, but like somebody who lives in that neighborhood right. that is like, you know, really passionate about the businesses there that sometimes take initiative and they'll add things or they'll make sure that all that stuff is updated. Um, people Without like looking myself, for something existing. You know, now, what situation does that parallel where mm. someone doesn't look for something before finding out if it exists? Uh, le- left hand, right hand. <laughs> How you doing? But sometimes it's something as simple as like you've misspelled it on accident and it doesn't show up. So you think it's not there. I assure you I you know, know how to spell hangover. Well, not that, but like... <laughs> But like you know, if if a business has like a you know an accent mark or something, right. you, don't t- you know what yeah. I mean. Like it's yeah. it's not necessarily just about you know doing um, a search and missing it. Sometimes it's it's like a user the hangover with an umlaut. So so, so, so the so the it's check the in GPS over. the so the je- uh, check in GPS uh, business listing is totally user driven. That's not something that's organic. Uh, 
piped in by somebody at some central location or whatever? It's piped in via what's listed on the site. So it's populated by the site, by your location. Um, sometimes things, if you do just like check in here, it doesn't right. show up. I Sometimes I would just do a search for it. Because, okay. you know, there maybe if there's a, so many businesses in one area, they can't all they show can't up all in show that up. list. And, then, so, and that's probably uh, what happened in this particular case that I'm describing. Like Because yeah. I did the, the GPS check-in thing, you know, looking for local businesses in my area, you know, based on where I was uh-huh. physically at. And it, it wasn't listed, so I'm like, oh, it's not here. And that'll happen. So I usually do a second search just in case it's not gotcha. showing up. So. Well, and, gotcha. and speaking of which, one of the coolest things, like, and I don't know if you played with this or yet or not, but Monocle. Monocle is, yes, crazy. that's very cool. Is that's, hands down that's one of the damn coolest things that Yelp has out there in their kind of scary. app that nobody pays attention to and is mm-hmm. out there. And for those of you, what is it? It's in the Yelp app. There's a function called Monocle. Yeah. Where if you click it, it basically brings you to a live. It brings you to a camera. You know, basically your your camera view. Right. And shows you overlaid on the camera what's right there, what's right there, oh, what's use two that miles yeah, that yeah, way. Yeah. It's, 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 like, it's like the Terminator view. Exactly. No, I use that, I use that yeah. in, uh, totally. in Phoenix. Yeah. <laughs> and, it's, yeah. uh, and, and people think, like, I'm a friggin' wizard when, like, I, <laughs> yeah. I, I mention Monocle to them, and they're like, I've never seen that before, and we bring it up, and they're like, oh, my God, this is the coolest thing ever! I'm, yeah. using, I'm using it right now. Geek. Uh, <laughs> Cavalier and Acrobat. Oh, wait, that was last week. <laughs> Not now. <laughs> no, it shows you as, like, a super Coney Island <laughs> right now. Fantastic. Great story, bro. Yeah. 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 Thanks. yeah, thanks for that four <laughs> seconds of dead air. Yeah, I see it. But you know what? There's no cameras in the in the in the studio. So Yeah, there's there's no cameras in the studio. There's no sex in the champagne room. You can turn the monocle app off now. So, so Steve is Royal walls. Kebab. Just looking through walls is what's going on. <laughs> right. so, yeah. so let me ask you this. Um I know we've had debates about the, the, the LinkedIn referrals, stuff like that. Yeah. Right. How do you feel about Businesses asking for Yelp reviews. Oh, uh, yeah, slippery, we slippery slope. Yeah, 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 we, yeah, we completely, which is Bob? sort of like, you know, <laughs> like a review site telling you not to write reviews, but like the whole point is that it, it's supposed to come organically. So what we tell businesses instead of saying, like, hey, review us on Yelp, we'd say, like, hey, we're on Yelp. You know, so just like reminding people without and then hypothetically necessarily- speaking, nudge, nudge, wink, wink, say no more. <laughs> Did, didn't you find a business recently was that like was actually you know offering for, pay, yeah. paid Yelp reviews or something like that? Oh, dude, that was uh, yeah. I, uh, that, that was like so. That was actually one of the conversations that was on the board, and I, I shot it to these guys because yeah. we've had the whole multiple Facebook accounts. I'm like, yeah, you think that's lame? How about people that have multiple Yelp accounts because they oh, want to no. do shill reviews? Yeah, I mean, and there are, there will always be people attempting to game the system, and you know, we have certain things in place. We have a review filter that attempts. You know, to to kind of which make Bob sure. loves, yeah, Bob. <laughs> which you know makes. Sure. No, I've never been filtered. <laughs> you've been. Oh shushed. no, you've been filtered. <laughs> Trust me. We'll know. talk off. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but, you know, I mean, that, that are put in place to to kind of protect the integrity of the reviews that we have, that they are from p- real people that are that they're, you know, not. Well, that's the one thing that's paid. the one thing you read a lot is the people say, oh, you you deleted it because the someone didn't like it. Mm-hmm. And, and you know, I, I know there's probably metrics involved in other things, but you know, it's an it's an uh, algorithm. Like I, I mean, you guys are more techie than I am, so I I don't even know how. Like nobody knows no, how it works. Yes, yeah. it's, it's the Yelp secret <laughs> sauce. <laughs> All right, well, I'll tell you what. Uh, speaking of that, we do want to uh, dive back into the September 5th event. Yeah. I I, I want to yak about that, but we're up against a break, uh, so we're going to take about a seven minute break with more tunes. And Bob, do your thing. Raw Radio X, we'll IT right the D Show. You're Mr. Vernon. We accept the fact that we had to sacrifice a whole Saturday in detention for whatever it was we did wrong. But we think you're crazy to make us write an essay telling you who we think we are. And you see us as you want to see us. In the simplest terms, the most convenient definitions. But what we found out is that each one of us is a brain. And an athlete. And a basket case. A princess. And a criminal. Does that answer your question? Sincerely yours, The Breakfast Club. Are you okay? 
I think so. Boy, who knows what else is in this swamp? Meanwhile, at the Legion of Doom. Not now. Okay. Okay. <laughs> we are back. The IT and the D show. Raw Radio X Studios presented by DetroitNet.org. Um, if you want to call in, the phone number is 313-462-0107. Or you can hit us up at Twitter at IT and the D. Um, we got Annette from Yelp in the studio and Steve from Aero Strategies. Um, we've been talking about a little bit of everything the first two segments. Uh, job market, we've been talking about Yelp. Um, segment three. So let's let's dive into September 5th because yes. that has a lot of really, really, some of my favorite things at it, like tequila <laughs> and then mm-hmm. more tequila. And bacon yeah. wrap bacon. And, and then vodka. And, yes. and then there's gin. Bacon and and then I think one more tequila vendor. Yeah, there's a lot of deliciousness <laughs> in, in the, you know, uh, liquid refreshment for sure. Uh, and regular food type refreshment. Um, yeah, we, like you had mentioned, we do a big party once a year. Um, we've partnered with St. Andrew's Hall and we're taking over all three floors. So nice. the shelter. Wow. St. Andrew's Hall, and then the lesser-known Burns Room upstairs, which the is secret, where they the do... The secret third floor nobody knows about. Where they do fancy, like, after parties, and, like, Ooh. I think I, I met Andrew W.K. up there back in the day. Or nice. You know? Um, so, so is, is there also a Smithers Room or just a Burns Room? That's just the Burns Room that I know of. I don't know. I haven't done a full... That, that excellent was <laughs> excellent. <laughs> um, so, yeah, so we're, we're kind of doing it. Uh, we're calling it Yelp's After School Special, so it's sort of back-to-school themed because our... Um, it's a free event, but we are asking for a $5 donation at and, the door. And this is very cool because we did an event for these guys just a couple weeks yeah. ago. And so this is for? Operation Kid Equip, who, oh, if, cool. if people don't very know awesome. already, they um, do school supplies, backpacks, um, snacks, clothing, things like that for um, kids in the Detroit area that you know need a little assistance. Uh, unfortunately, they had a flood in their facilities not too long ago and lost like tens of thousands of dollars worth of supplies for the upcoming school year. Right. So we decided that we will do a five dollar donation at the door so when people come in they give us um we'll have uh, kid equip on site you know, oh is Menachem coming out yeah, yeah he is yeah. Awesome. Gonna be there. Yeah, he's so gonna, is it cash only or are they actually going to take supplies like if somebody showed up with a bag so full of binders or I'm whatever? still working on it I shot him a note saying would you prefer cold hard cash or would you prefer some yeah. supplies and we'll see what what you know we'll, I'll update the event page once I okay. get an answer yeah, on that yeah, I, I gave Menachem a, a, like a, a wad of cash I felt like a drug deal I'm like uh, <laughs> this is for you <laughs> I'm not really sure <laughs> he's like Thanks. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because, I mean, so our, our uh, July event over at the Blackfin, mm-hmm. um, it was one of those things where, you know, saw something about it posted online about, you know, the whole flood they had in their yeah. warehouse. And we said, okay, let's dive in. We've done stuff with them before. Mm-hmm. Um, they're a great organization. Oh, they yeah, really, really awesome. are. I mean, it's, yeah, it's a awesome. cool, I mean, dude, it's for kids. Yeah. How, how can you no, not? What a great it's a and it's all volunteer. I mean, yep. they all, I mean, they all just do it because they, they care about, you know, what's going on. No, what a great position to be in where you have a charity and you have people banging on your door. Can I help? Can I help, please? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no um, yeah. Well, and what was really cool, so I mean, our, our event on Thursday, I mean, before we even got there, uh, you know, Maria and the rest of the good folks at the Blackfin, like, already had, like, half full a table. table full of stuff. Yeah. You know, waiting stuff. for us. And I mean, and then, you know, then our, our yeah, please, our folks all, sh- all showed up and it was just outstanding. I mean, we collected tons. And in fact, it's funny, like, the first, after we posted the first few pictures, like, by 530, I had a Facebook message from Menachem that said, yeah, I'm on my way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, you know, we we worked with them prior um, to this. We did a uh, big Yelp party at... Um, the Detroit Yacht Club about three years ago is my first sort of large scale nice. party. Yes, yeah, so it was very Ooh, fancy. Oh, yeah. And um, like we those. we partnered with them on that event too. And uh, at the time, you know, we uh, we were aware that you know having like a donation could pay for you know the the warehouse space and things like that. Right. And now it's like you know now we're re- trying to rebuild their supply yep. stores. So yeah. Um, so yeah, I mean, I, I guess I'll just post the updates and see if people want to bring some supplies. You know, I'm sure that they'd be happy to take those too, so, but. They couldn't. I think having a little bit of money to repair, make repairs to the building, you know, fix oh, up, that, yeah. that helps too. So I think anything they'll they'll probably be. So good. getting back to your event on the fifth, then. Yeah. So is this? Uh, it, it's a Yelp Elite event. No, it is not. It's a Yelp event. It's, it's a, a Yelp, Yelp event. event. We call them Yelper parties. Yelper parties. So they're open to the entire Yelp community. All you have to do is RSVP through the Yelp site, which is you just go to www.yelp.com and there's an events like tab. Yep. And yep. you click Did on it last that, week. and yep. it'll be the very first event. It's kind of the the showcase event on there. As long as you're logged in the Detroit area, you'll see it. And, Which, and if you want to make it easy, it's Yelp.com slash Detroit. Yeah, exactly. Yep. yep. 
Perfect. Um, so then you go to the events page and you just RSVP through there. And um, once we hit our mark, we're going to close the RSVPs, but they're still open right now. So there's still plenty of time well, to and, get in there. And we know from past experience, I mean, San Andrews Hall can hold a ton, a ton of, of people. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah we're going to do um, a nice size group. We're going to not pack it in so it'll be nice and comfortable for everybody. But ever, So everyone who comes will have a really good time. We've got over 20 food and drink vendors. Um, we're doing putting together a yeah, fashion show. Yeah, there's a whole fashion show thing going on. But yeah, say, that's, that's what I was getting at. So like, it, it, it's a party for a party, or are you... Are you asking businesses to come in and support by promoting whatever it is that they're promoting, whether it be food or like fashion or whatever? Yeah, I mean, it's mutually beneficial for all. I mean, it's great for for the nonprofit, obviously, because we're raising money for them. It works for us because we get to get the Yelp word out there. And then it's great for the businesses, too, because then they get to reach hundreds of new people that they maybe not have, you know, encountered before. And they get to actively kind of you know, show off their wares to somebody. I call it like interactive advertising. Like why take out an yep. ad in a newspaper when you can be like, here, try my burger. You know what I mean? And so is it literally like uh, booths with banners and stuff like that, but exactly. it would be food and stuff? Yep. yep. Got it. Yep. And they'll have okay. samples and. Um, oh, yeah. The, le, uh, what is it? Uh, le Petit, the cheesecake guys. Oh, Petite Cheesecake. Yeah, Petite Cheesecake. Yeah. Oh, well, it's kind of like when Lord. it's kind of like when me and Dave went to that beer fest at Pine Knob. It's like, look for the really long line. That's where the good beer is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah <pretty much. laughs> and you got to get there early because some of the really popular ones, like they do bring a lot of stuff, but people do come and uh, take it all up. So, you know, you got to act while it's, you know. Yeah, you know, I was kind right. of, before you came out, but, you know, on the drive-in before, you know, I was thinking of like your competition. And it's ama- it's kind of funny to me or, you know, I guess it's a good thing. Yelp really doesn't have any competition. I mean, you have, you know, your four squares and you have your, like, open tables and things like that. But well, there's really well, no one that does Facebook, what you... Well, Facebook Places now, too. Facebook, right, but, yeah. nah. But well, but, but, but only strictly from a, in a check-in, check-in perspective. From a check-in, right. right. It's, it's not necessarily from a community perspective. Yeah, and I think that that is something that is really special about Yelp is that we do try and create an offline community of people that are supporting local businesses that are, you know passionate about their their neighborhoods and i think that resonates in detroit particularly well right now when you know you're trying to rebuild and you're yeah, trying there's an to, energy behind it yeah well, and like yep. lots of like entrepreneur small businesses yep. starting well how like i that. found yelp was you know i travel on business and mm-hmm. i'd be stuck in a, a marriott in st louis and i'm like okay i gotta go have dinner where am i going to dinner and i would sit in my room and i pulled up the yelp app mm-hmm. and i would read reviews and i'm like oh this place looks great yeah. Um, and that's where I would hit. And I would walk in saying, I found you from, from the reviews. And I go, some of them are actually really funny, kind of ragging on you. And that's mm-hmm. uh, you strike oh, up a so you're the guy that actually does that? I found you on Yelp? Yeah, absolutely. Do well, you, you know, know who I am? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you better <laughs> serve me a good dinner or I'm going to write a bad review. <laughs> I'm going to Yelp your ass. <laughs> <laughs> but, but it was really, it was helpful for me in, in strange towns yeah. to, to find cool places. I mean, even like, you know, Traverse City. I go up to Traverse City. Where do I go for breakfast in Traverse City? Oh, well, let's go to this place. Um... Uh, I'm bringing on it now, but it's like not really downtown. Best yep. beignets right. ever. Right. I've never been in New Orleans, so I don't, I don't know well, about that. But you know, I've lived here best my beignets whole... in Traverse City ever. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I've lived in here. Yeah. I've lived here my whole life, and Dave and I uncovered like this great little bar, Domingo Speakeasy, and I've heard yep. of it, and I've never been there. I'm like my it, 40 years here. It, it's not a great little bar. So I, I well, like it. when when like Yelp when Yelp, when Yelp's trying to break into another community <laughs> or city or whatnot. Are, I mean, other than the the Yelp elite status that we were joking about earlier, is there an incentive for someone to be the first Yelper to to write you that get, first review or do, do, do you, the, you get the, the first you get badges? the ultimate? You, we don't need no sticking badges. <laughs> we don't need no, badges. <laughs> no, but we uh, there, you do. There is a little note that says you know you're your first. Yeah, I, 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 on the I, internet I, I know. I, I'm talking. I'm not talking about the gamification of it. I'm talking about like is is there a way is that, that, a that Yelp has worked? It is a word actually. Oh, yeah. But work, uh, Yelp working with businesses saying, hey, you know, is it you you know, told worth you. your while to be? <laughs> <laughs> you're making me lose my train of thought. There was a Sorry. question in there somewhere. Sorry. I get what you're you, saying. You know, you, know what you're, you know what I'm saying. Other than check-in offers, we don't encourage any incentives okay, for, yeah. for, for being the first that's to review. That's a slippery slope Yeah, to go. exactly. It's, yeah. it's the same thing where you're, you're you know, trying to get people to write reviews. And right. um, we encourage – the best way to really do it is, is, is to do – if you're going to do a check-in offer, then when people log into the site later when they go home or whatever, it'll say, you checked in here. Why don't you write a review? Yep. And so it's something it's – it's a way for businesses to – um, kind of stick out in people's minds later without yeah. necessarily like actively asking them to write a review. 
Well, and, and it does work. I mean, and that I mean, like, I run around with my Yelp app open, and I, you know, I check into places that I go and that kind of stuff. And it and it does. I mean, when I get home, yep. if I'm logging in because I want to go see what random nonsense is happening on the message boards, <laughs> the first thing I get hit with is, "Hey, you were just at this place. Write a review." No, uh, I, I don't want. And then you know, you know, I'd skip that one. Okay, well, here's the other place you checked into. Einstein, write a review. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, not that one. Okay, that one I have strong enough feelings about. I will sit down right now and write a review, and life's good. Yeah, yep. yeah. I mean, I scroll through all my check-ins all the time. Yep. Today, I was like, oh, this cookie place in Sagatuck. I have not reviewed you yet. This sounds like fun to revisit. So, what's the difference between a tip and a review then? A tip is um more like a, a little quick quick tidbit you know like okay. um, like a twitter status. so when you're at buddies you put try the pizza that's what i always do yeah maybe nice. maybe a little more specific <laughs> <laughs> especially when you're talking about buddies i mean i mean because like well, checked like, into well, a bar they have beer try the beer well, that, that's just it like you know at detroit that's uh, why i'm asking so yeah. that, that seems flying. like because when you check in that prompt leave a tip comes up immediately yeah. but, but the leave a review is a couple clicks away yeah and you know that's something um that you know we we have Encouraged on mobile is a tip thing, right. um, and just you know that's tip. something as you go. <laughs> just, oh man, just the tip. Thanks, Bob. Just, that's, yeah, Bob got ugly quickly. <laughs> no, <laughs> that, that escalated quickly. <laughs> yes, <laughs> um, but uh, you know, so but then it's nice because when you again, like when you log on to the the page, you'll say, "We loved your tip. Why don't you write a review?" And you can exp- elaborate. Which I totally screen captured and made fun of for days because that made me laugh. My inner, ele- my inner 11-year-old couldn't stop laughing. I'm really? not surprised. You just got done yelling at him for that. I'm a hypocrite. We know this. I'm a parent. I'm allowed to say, do as I say, not as I do. <laughs> Anyways. Yeah. yeah, I mean, you know, mobile's, mobile's a fun you know, way to, you know. Well, and, it, and mobile is short attention span theater. Mm-hmm. People are more likely right. to leave like a quick little one-sentence tip than they are to sit there and you know, write a full-blown review, mm-hmm. I would think. Well, that's the yeah. first thing I thought. Was, you know, it's the equivalent of a Twitter as opposed to a long Facebook post. Yeah, and it's, and it's great, too, when you're, like, at a place and you scroll through the tips and you say, hey, um, you know, if five people are saying, like, the burger is great without having to read Try all the fish. Reviews. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know, <laughs> exactly. Well, then you know, like, all right, these right. people are saying that this is great. Or, you know, you're scrolling through and you're like, oh, man, apparently it's, like, a three-hour wait on a, a Friday. Like, most people right. say that. You know, you're like, okay, I won't, I won't come here without having yep. to, like, slog through the reviews if you're on the go. I don't know if you gotcha. heard me earlier. I put, uh, when I was at DTW, I left a tip and I said, try flying. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I'm that guy. <laughs> I'm sure that one got a lot of likes, right? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, let's, let, yeah, let's see how that elite application goes for you. That'd be awesome. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm the mockery guy. You're on, you're on a roll, Steve man. and I will actually both have to nominate Bob at that point. <laughs> So, so the fifth, and it yes. is, you know, so theoretically, I mean, it's a free event. Yes, yes. donations are encouraged. Yes. And so help me God, if anybody listening to this shows up and doesn't donate to Operation Kid Equip, I will find you and poke you in the eye. Yeah. <laughs> um, You'll be the, the fodder for our no, next don't be that guy. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Don't be that guy who hates kids. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. You kick puppies. Right. <laughs> um, now, and so for what it's worth, though, I mean, let, you know, let's talk about the logistics of the event. You know, we, mm-hmm. we had an event with, you know, 700 odd people that showed up at St. Andrews. You know, are, is there anything anybody, anybody should park? know about parking or anything like that? Or have you worked out any deals with any of the lots? Yeah, is there a baseball or? game? Actually, is there a baseball game going on? I mean, is that it's stuff? We, that... There will not be a game. Okay, um, which is good. Um, we, uh, at least not to my knowledge, I thought we looked at that calendar too. <laughs> Def- yeah, we, had, we look for that. like opera house, like anything going yeah. on at the gym. If, if only you know. there was a central calendar where we could all look at our events. Yeah. <laughs> well, <there's... laughs> for anything going on in the Metro Detroit area, if know. only that existed. I don't put games on there. There's too many. It's just, it takes too long. Um, but uh, you know, you're welcome to. Anyone can add their own events to the Yelp Elite calendar. Dave has hey, lots of free calendar. time. Hey, okay, nobody got time for that. Yeah. Yeah. You um, use one of your many Yelp accounts. <laughs> right. No, no, only one Yelp. <laughs> Sure, I got my eyes on you. Many, many, many Facebook, one Yelp. Yeah. Um, but the cool thing is, actually, is that we did partner with Uber for this. So oh, Uber is cool. going to do discounted rides to and from the event, um, your choice of to or from. Um, so we'll have the discount codes in that. So they'll that. get you there cheap and then gouge you on the way home. That's, that's what, what is they're doing. Uber? <laughs> Uber, if Uber. you're not familiar, is a... Um, German private, word. Private that means car. get there quickly. Yeah, Steve, th- think of like a metro car, but... But like you know, but it's app oriented, so oh, you can you can choose where you're where you're coming from. Like you could say, oh, I need a, a car from here, and okay. it'll tell you what's nearby, like real time. It'll say, well, you'll be there in 13 minutes. You can see the cars like tracked on GPS on the app, so you know, like 
you know, where where it's going to be instead of you call a cab. And well, we were talking about that. It's, it's, metro, it's metro car done the right way. Well, and we <laughs> yeah. talked about that with the open go guys. Like, and it yeah, shows you like a, a picture of the driver that's yep. going to be showing up, so you know who it is when they show up and mm-hmm. that kind of stuff. Yeah. yeah, won't kill you. Sign. I don't know. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Not gonna take you out to a field, leave you for dead. And it's even what I like about it too is that as somebody who like never, I'm horrible. I never carry cash. Like you can, you pay via the app. Yep. So you put a card on the on the app, yeah, and then you just pay when you walk out, yeah. um, rather than having to Which like still, search for. Oh, absolutely, and that annoys me that like every like municipality in the area hasn't converted over to uh, Park Mobile. Because yeah, I mean that the, that's the easiest thing on the planet when you go to Ferndale or any place else mm-hmm. that has that where you don't have to worry about meters or yep. lots or anything like that. It's you know yeah here's my spot here's yeah you have my card on file. Do it, go. Yeah, Royal, a, went to Royal Oak and the Caddy and it's like uh, parking meter. I don't have quarters in this thing. Like you know I guess yeah. I'm gonna take my chances. Yep. You know every, yeah. every time I have to uh, pay at a meter, it's the. It's day, archaic. <laughs> well, it's the day after that one of those uh, firemen are sitting there with the boot. At the stoplight, and I just empty out my entire change. That's thing your excuse. right. <laughs> <laughs> and so you have no change on you whatsoever, zero, of zero. course. The day I need a quarter, I never have one. All right. Yeah. Um, so it's it's convenient, you know, to to be able to do that. So, but so you especially know, when you've given all your cash to Operation Kid. Exactly. So <laughs> so Uber can get you to and from, but yes. I mean, other than that, it's uh, you it's, know, you know, parking in the area. Anytime you go to a St. Andrews event or something over there, it's same same deal. There's street parking. There's the lot for of what it's Andrews. worth. I can I can flip you the links that we give people because we've we've got our event that listing out there now. So yeah. for all the parking lots in the area and what to expect, yeah, and all we'll that send stuff. that all, all that information out when we do the confirmation emails cool. when we get the RSVPs. So and it's even close enough to uh, park at the Rensen for that. That's people like movers, three, yeah. Blocks. yeah. Well, they have right. the new bike share right now, right? Is it what building was that that we saw those little little oh scooters? the bikes? Yeah, they're all yeah they're everywhere now. Yeah. So you drive your car downtown, park your car, and rent a bicycle. bike. Yeah, just so bike. you know, so you look the part. You know what I mean? No. Yeah. Get the curly mustache going, and then you know, put the fedora on. We're back on the, the hipster thing. Yeah, yeah they, they, they give you the glasses. <laughs> they, they give you the glasses and the plaid shirt. It does. It comes yeah. with the. Once again, the phone number to shut Bob up <laughs> is three one three four six two zero one zero seven, or it in the via Twitter. <laughs> So, I mean, anything else that anybody needs to know? I mean, is, is there anything else, you know, going on there that night? I mean, you know, so that we've got drinks, we've got food. Are there um, any, like, new things happening this year? There's no presentations year? or anything, we've right? Got... It's just casual party networking. Well, right? there's a yeah. fashion show, apparently. There will be a fashion show. Oh. We're going to have three local designers showing off some fancy duds and, and jewelry and things like that. We've got... And apparently um, there's going to be stuff for sale there. So, yep. yes, bring cash for kid equip, but then save some for later. Yeah, if you like something you see on the runway, you should be able to pick it up or, you know, there's find out where runway? to... Yeah, we're going to have a full on runway it'd be very fa- very Holy moly. yeah dave's gonna be um, out there with hockey we've shirt also- and short <laughs> <laughs> there's no dress code um like you know, thank god so whatever you feel comfortable in um, like kramer and seinfeld <laughs> the other fun thing that i'm super psyched about is we kind of going with the kids theme is we will be having the rock and roll prep school play which is that is of, really cool I've, yeah. seen, I've seen a couple of videos and that kind of stuff from those kids and that's yeah. kind of awesome they're gonna throw down for us so that'll be pretty fun it's like school of rock that, yeah, that, yeah. yeah. Oh, they're, no gonna kidding. Play, they're gonna play on the main stage at saint andrews at the start of the evening so that'll be really fun um we're also gonna have um like printing not printing press but like um woodblock printing and like d- demonstrations from a, a gallery in Eastern Market called Salt and Cedar. They do like letterpress stuff, and really? so they're bringing oh, some portable cool. equipment to kind of show. You're going to need all three floors because that's you know, oh yeah. yeah. We're taking up a lot of. We're going to yeah, have the some main floor. It, the main floor for our event was completely packed. Yeah, it's going to be elbow, you know, elbow to elbow. We're yeah. going to have we're going to have a good time, and then downstairs, um, we're also going to have hair and makeup stations from L'Esprit, and then you can get a photo taken. Um, with Mammoth Booth to be like, ooh, look at my new The before book. and after picture. Exactly, yeah. What was that thing that we didn't do at the Fillmore, like with the bike racing, like the sim? So you were what just... Oh, it? Sweet Bikes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, they were fun. They did the little bike racing. Yeah, we tried to mix it up this year from, from pre- last year, having mm. some different... Stuff going on, especially in the interactive elements. So you mentioned that you were cutting off RSVP, RSVPs at one point. Is that based on St. Andrews and their limits or, or um, a little bit of both i mean we want to make like i said we want to make well, sure that know, everybody I mean, venues who, have capacity well yeah. right yeah. i understand that yeah but yeah, i, I mean, didn't know if there was a limit for you guys it's for... uh no we were mostly working with st andrews on that i mean okay. we could fill a room i mean sure. you know it's, sure. it's not the issue it's more um making sure that everybody who comes isn't going to be packed like a sardine and be able to actually you know interact Walk. with the yeah. businesses and things like that so um so that's why it's important to rsvp early and because um, once it's closed, it's closed. You know, how many are you at right now? And uh, what's your limit, you think? Well, we're going to do 
It's hard to say. Um, we, I have to do the layout. She could tell you, but then she'd have to kill you. <laughs> You'd have to RCP first. Be a, well, be a, it's, it's y- more, Yelp elite. Well, I, I will. I, yeah, I need to get. I need to get nominated first, and then. Well, you can you can RCP on, without an elite Steve. account, which is which is sweet. Um, you can. You know, RSVP no matter what. You just well, and that was the, that was the kind of the nice thing about the you know the email blast that went out. That I mean, you know, I got the note that said, "Hey, you know, Yelp Elite, go here." But you know, it's an open event. Share it out, and that's yeah. what I did. I went, I RSVP'd, and then blasted it out, you know, to Jeff and a couple other people, and said, you know, go yeah, click come, on come this, yeah, go, go now, do, go do yeah. this now. Yeah. Right. But the nice thing, and when you're an elite, is that you you have first come first serve. You know, you will be no matter what, you will be able to get in. Um, whereas other people kind of have Ooh. to wait a little bit. So, yeah, that's, that's there's some perks. Um, so yeah, it's it's gonna be. Um, we're working on the layout now, and I think once we have a layout, we'll have a little bit of a better understanding. Well, of, yeah, because I mean, you've got to lay out all the booths and everybody's yeah, areas and all that kind of stuff, wise. and then figure out how people are gonna flow through. We well, when we you kind s- of limited it. Like I wanted to cut it off sooner, but we just had so many people who were really excited about a you know just being a part of the night, but also about Operation Kid Equip and just being really supportive right. of that from the nonprofit. So I did have to finally say we can't we can't do anymore. Like we can't have any more vendors. We just don't have the space. So we will be creative with our layout. So you keep saying we. I mean, the, you work for you know here locally, but are are people parachuting in from HQ no. from San Fran saying you know <laughs> nice. hey, you know <laughs> what? I do have I do have colleagues that'll be coming out to help me, but mostly I'm, I'm talking of the staff at St Andrews who have been really great to work okay. with. Okay, um, so you're you are the the one person organizing this. Representing from the Yelp, Yelp. Point, Yelp standpoint, yep. Okay, yep. wow. Yeah. So cool. myself and then the St. Andrews crew has been really instrumental. Yeah, they're pretty cool. Um, and then, you know, we've got some great uh, – uh, one of the designers that's showing off at the, in the fashion show was really instrumental in helping us show off that. She works uh, – her name's Jana. She does Lilac Pop Studio. Cool. Um, and so she's putting together the fashion show because I told her, I'm like, I have no – I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, th- this is not my realm of expertise <laughs> exactly. role. Yeah. yeah, and she's been great. And so we've got some really great people that are just willing to give their time and um, energy to – uh, make this a really cool night and hopefully raise quite a bit of money if we can. Very cool. Yep. All right. Well, I'll tell you what, we are, uh, believe it or not, up You're against kidding. another break. Wow. Dude, I'm, Seriously, uh, the fastest two hours of radio. I, I am always stunned at how quickly this stuff goes. So we're going to come back. We're going to dive in a little bit with Steve, probably touch on Annette a little bit yeah, more. Steve, wake up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, uh, IT and the D show down at uh, Raw Radio X. We'll be right back. See you soon. You have been recruited by the Star League to defend the frontier against Zur and the Kodan Armada. Now, sir. Everything that happens now is happening now. What happened to then? We passed then. When? Just now. We're at now, now. Go back to then. When? Now. Now? Now. I can't. Why? We missed it. When? Just now. When will then be now? Soon. Soon. <laughs> Dave, I must commend you. Um, your music tonight has been impeccable. Um, you know, usually you throw in that one song to make my just to piss you off. an aneurysm. Yeah. Tonight, <laughs> I was just saying, I want to hear the the William Shatner version of the song. I'm tonight, stop the world with you and Mel. Mel, Mel, Mel. With you. tonight you've totally you. redeemed yourself. Just when I thought you couldn't get any, um, this is the IT and the D show presented by DetroitNet.org, Raw Radio X Studios, Midtown Detroit. I was really afraid you were about to give me the "You Complete Me" speech, and I was going to no. have to kick you out of the studio. I wasn't even thinking. That. <laughs> Don't let me get into that email that spat between the two of you earlier this week. <laughs> You never listened to me. <laughs> Too long, didn't read. Right. <laughs> All right. So no, hold on, hold on. Let, let, you know, let's, you, what? No, I was going to get into it, but no, let's we can no. save that for another day. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we'll save it for later, which is another song that I almost threw in here. <laughs> um, so here we are back at Raw Radio X Studios, the IT and the D Show again. Uh, just in case you do want to call in, the number is three one three. 
462-0107. You can hit us up on Twitter at the at IT and the D. And, and, for, and if it isn't pain, painfully obvious, we're using a cheat sheet now. Yeah, we have. Yeah, <laughs> yeah thanks, Ray. Yeah, exactly. Ray, you made it abundantly clear how dumb we actually are during our own broadcast. And so we've created a cheat sheet because rest assured, we know we you're was, out there listening. Yep. <laughs> so, you know, we've, we've kind of talked about, you know, the Yelp event that's coming up on September 5th, which everyone should go out to Yelp.com slash Detroit, hit the events page and buy all all means RSVP. It is going to be a very cool night, I'm sure. Yes. Um, and so one of the things we do want to do, though, is we want to double back with Steve here, who's in studio with us from Arrow Strategies. So, I mean, other than, you know, .NET guys. Yeah, we, joke, are, we joke about .NET and yeah, mobile. I mean, but just, .NET developers and mobile developers. I mean, so, I mean, what, you know, Arrow's a growing company. I mean, and you guys are looking for recruiters as well. Yep, absolutely. So you're out at arrowstrategies.com. Yep, you can find me there or LinkedIn. I'm on Twitter. Uh, and it's Steve Gora, which is G-A-U-R-A, if you want to find him on LinkedIn. There you go. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thanks for not uh, every time. Mangling your name. Yeah, mangling yes. your name. Yeah. <laughs> it's usually butchered. Um, Umlaut wrote it. <laughs> it you, know, you, know, you know, it is a joke that uh, everybody's, oh, we need .NET developers. But this year, more than ever, 2008, 2009, companies did not invest in infrastructure. We're starting to see that turnaround now. Uh more than ever, we're seeing companies that are, you know, upgrading their Citrix environments, upgrading their VMware environments. We we're seeing a lot of SharePoint, too, at the corporate level, too. Is that, is that leading into the .NET stuff? Absolutely, because right. once you get a SharePoint site developed, you need that, that customization. You need that SharePoint, right. folks. Um, we're seeing uh, a lot of D- DBA-type work. So whether it's Oracle DBAs, SQL DBAs. A lot of companies are trying to make sense of their data, which means they need reports, folks. Whether it's oh yeah, I mean, and and that's you know, know, way back in the day, I remember you know having a conversation with uh, you know Dennis Walsh when he was the CTO of General Motors, and he loved to like bang his fist on the table and go, "We've got 19 terabytes of data here inside this company." (laughs) Great, Dennis. What's it say? I don't know. <laughs> profit. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> <laughs> step one, collect data. Step two, <laughs> step three, profit. So a lot of the bigger companies began that movement years ago. Smaller companies are starting to make some sense of their data now. So we're seeing a lot of smaller companies going, hey, we need to know what all this data means. Why, well, why are we collecting all this data? We need like cloud. <laughs> well, and it seems like that's where a lot of the growth is right now is in the you know cloud. that's well, no, that's small to medium market. Um, well, and yeah, and, 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 and I hate those you know jackholes for you know my running gag jack all jackholes. Uh, you know, all throughout yeah, like the you know the nineties and early two thousands was you know every good system diagram has a cloud. Yes. You know, there's yep. you know it, you just you know stuff goes into the cloud. The stuff mockery has the, become reality. Yeah, stuff goes into yes. the cloud. You don't worry about what happens in the cloud, and then stuff comes out of the cloud. It's like a train tunnel, right? The prey comes out good the other end, right? Yeah. You know, and so but it is. I mean, it's it's all those small to medium sized companies now where you know. You've got so many, you know, little entrepreneur shops that are that are opening up and jumping up and doing their own thing, and they finally hit that next stage because I mean, you know, and, and you know, I mean, we've seen this through Detroit Absolutely. Net events where people have started their own companies, and now they're coming back to us saying, okay, I need to hire need help. my first developer, I need to hire my first PM, I need to hire a BI person, you know, to you know to get through this kind of stuff and figure out what my data actually says. So I mean, it's it's good to see that it's not just you know the Quickens, the CompuWares, and everybody that you read about in the news every day that there is this whole you know sort of hidden market out there that is huge and flowering absolutely um it was funny when i was, i just came back from uh from europe and i learned in, this in europe mm-hmm. <laughs> we ran into a a, a couple from uh, england and they they said to me they go so do you work for the do you work for a gm i was like no and they go do you work ford chrysler i was like no no I was, there's there's a lot more to metro detroit than just the big three and well, so yeah, you know, yeah, back in the '80s when you were like traveling overseas in Europe, it was, oh wow, do you know Larry Hagman? Do you know Jr? <laughs> yeah. Do you know? You know, n- it doesn't work. That so that's way. actually pretty interesting. So, so in Europe, they, they still equate Detroit with the big three. They do that, and also mur- murder and bankruptcy. <laughs> well, <laughs> the right. Nice shock, shocker. Yeah. And, and inside, to explain to them. Thanks, no, CNN. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't carry a gun at all times because it's not that. Well, bad. that's just an American and, thing. That's uh, not actually a Detroit thing, uh, <laughs> right? We're, we're, yeah, which is funny as well. Trying to debate that topic, but I'm sure not not on, not on point here. But uh, there's a lot of doom and gloom out there. But we've been busier than ever uh, since the bailout happened. We've never we've never slowed down. Even during when 2008 2009, there's a time when a lot of recruiting companies were laying people off. Uh, we tried to stay hiring 
because we knew that it was not going to last. So we kept hiring folks, and it's been nothing but a turnaround since. So in my mind, I've been seeing a well and, a break out of this recession for four years. Oh, on a, yeah, absolutely. And I mean, and I do. I mean, I, I think a lot of the doom and gloom, unfortunately, comes from uh, the uninformed masses. You know, that right. don't understand what really is going on out here. And I mean, and that's you know, and, and we do. I mean, you know, we see it on the Yelp message boards, and you you see it whether it's in the news. You know, the only time a Detroit related headline hits CNN dot com is when it's something bad. Bad, yeah. You so know, it, you know, negative suit news. Sells. Well, you look at you know, yeah. If it bleeds, it leads. That's yeah, exactly. Yeah. All my colleagues are out of state. You know, and they said, hey, Bob. Where are you located? It's so oh, Detroit. And they started talking about, oh my God, I must be awful. I'm like, no. There's so is much there, good things going on. No, here. there's, you know, pretty much. Well, here's the thing if you're, you know, in IT or healthcare, you're you're kind of doing okay in this town. Well, I mean, yes. Um, I mean, you know, the, the unofficial number that, you know, keeps, you know, getting bandied around a little bit here is that, you know, in the IT industry in the Metro Detroit area, the unemployment, the unemployment number is probably sub 3%. Oh, for you know, IT, absolutely. Oh, yeah. I mean, if, if, you're, if you're someone with a clue in the IT world, you should absolutely have a job right now. And if you're in IT and the healthcare industry and you're not employed, you're doing it wrong. Yeah, there's something wrong. <laughs> yeah. Or if and, you're a history major. Well, and again, you can figure out um, where to find that job at our event Thursday night, Connor O'Neill's, Ann Arbor, DetroitNet.org, ITNTD.com. Be there. Get there. Right. I used to get the... Uh, to, to, touch on that topic i used to get the debate from a lot of hiring managers that they'd say they'd want this perfect unicorn the purple for, squirrel yeah, yeah purple, purple squirrel, yeah. squirrel for yep. probably maybe 10 grand below market value and, they, and they'd say to me they'd say triple the bill rate yeah steve you can find that yeah you can find it and not only that but uh unemployment's 15 percent in metro detroit now or, or, or <laughs> it should be a piece of cake and, and, and by the I, way I, your job depends on it yeah <laughs> right and and so constantly i have to stop and i go no that's not how it works just because the, the unemployment rate's 15 percent, that doesn't mean that it's 15 percent of java developers 15 percent right of yeah oracle dbas dot let alone all blah, it blah, 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 let alone all it so when they're when they're when they're it's just a little bit of education when it comes to that but a lot of times when they just read the newspaper they assume that everything's equal in that regard and and, and that's a lot higher we're seeing we're seeing good news for everybody out there we're seeing pay rates go up we're seeing companies pay a little bit more we're seeing bill rates go up which the demand is love, huge they have to love. pay more well but it's yep. like, it's like i've Absolutely. always said i mean my, you know my one of the things i always pay attention to when i talk to people looking for gigs and recruiters and that kind of stuff is you know there, there's two metrics there what are the salaries and bill rates doing and what does the time to hire look like? Because, you know, back in 08, 09, you know, people were, you know, companies were taking six months and interviewing 300 people for a BA. They're sifting and, through it. You yeah. know, where, where they were holding out for a BA that actually had like a systems architect background and was willing to just take a job for 40 grand a year to get off the street. You know, whereas now, you know, that time to hire has dropped way down. Bill rates are starting to come back up because companies well, have realized, you know, you've got... You know, you're going to get two, maybe three weeks, four, maybe five interviews, and you better jump quick or they're going to be gone. That's and, and, look what happened to me. Te- what is it? Ooh, ten days, maybe? Look at you. Right. I got to, you know. Oh, yeah, just, look at you. What, no, it's just, ten days. I mean, it shocked me when I got the, when I got the offer. Um, I had no it idea. It shocked all but, of us. But, so, Shut up. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt you. Yeah, go ahead. You, you may have the last beer. You are the guest. Here, no, but I mean, so, I mean that is but, one of the cool things that's really happening out here in the area is, that, you know, there is, excellent. you know, all that growth and, and all that industry that's that's happening. I mean, there's so many cool, you know, we've walked around well, the Madison building and seen all the startups exactly. down there. And I mean, you know, talk about your small companies. There are three, four person shops that are off and running doing their thing. Yep. Well, I had a question, though. So with regards to the, the open recs that you guys have and talking to all these different hiring managers and, you know, I hear a lot of companies that are having a hard time finding the the right people with the right not only the right skill set but the 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 level of training or the level of experience that you know they're looking for someone that already has experience not someone that's graduated from college uh, are we seeing that that companies actually have to come come off their perch and say you know what you know if if it's slim pickings you may have to relax your requirement and not look for that 10 years experience java or .net developer and hire somebody that's only has 2 years experience it, are you seeing that too? Absolutely. Uh, this year, more than ever, and I don't know if I'm giving our way our competitive secret or not. However, nobody, I'm sure your no, boss will tell you tomorrow if you did. <laughs> yeah, no. don't, yeah. Don't don't worry. Nobody listens as, to this as, show. As he tries to figure out how to download this. Uh, <laughs> um, so he's going to need a job next month, <laughs> right? So speaking of hiring so, for hey, recruiters, hiring, uh, <laughs> uh, no uh, companies have been hiring candidates with less experience more now than I've ever seen before in my life. 
I used to always get the question when uh, when I first started at Arrow, how does someone entry level break into the market? Yeah, it, I have zero. I, I I don't have an idea how anybody gets into the market. This year, more that's than that's changed a lot. Companies, but that's my point. Like you know, they're. It, it, <laughs> It's a chicken and the egg. You, you can't get experience without you know. Without experience. Well, we had right. that you know we had that meme that was floating around in the Detroit Net page a few days ago. You know, yeah. If you could stop posting entry right. level jobs that require three to five years experience, that well, would and the be reverse great. is true as well. I mean, that I, I hear it all the time from recruiters that are frustrated that you know they they have all these uh, requirements from their their clients that are saying, "I'm not going to talk to anyone unless they have ten years experience." Well, the market's flooded with people with five years of worth of experience. That's You're going to turn away all those hire people? Hire two of them. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I know it doesn't work that way, but still. I, yeah, mean, they, I never they, slept with a ten, but one night I slept with two fives. Hey. Five hey, twos. <laughs> Anyways, Steve, you were saying. So one thing that Ignore we the monkey. One thing that I don't do whenever I'm talking to a manager is ask them, how many years of experience do you want? Right. Because it's all relative. Well, and it's all about managing expectations. I mean, and that's, and we've talked about that with every recruiter that comes in here where, you know, the client comes to you and says, okay, this is what I want. You really, are, are you sure that's what you want? Because here's the reality of the situation in the market right now. Oh, absolutely. We'll, we'll, you know, a lot of times we'll get, we'll see a job description with a, it says .NET, Java, and COBOL. Yeah, the purple squirrel. And I go, what do, what do you really want? What is this person going to be doing? They're going to be like, oh, they're just going to be doing uh, about .net. Yeah, like, crystal okay. reports. So, so, <laughs> right. So, so what we do is a lot Front of times we'll, let, we'll let that job description go out there, and we'll go find the cans that they're really looking for. But a lot of what we do is is we work with closely with uh, Michigan Tech, Kettering, um, Lawrence Tech, any, any, any college that has an internship program, those guys are coming out finding jobs making a ton more money than one that I made out of college. Yeah, um, makes you sick, doesn't it? Damn oh, kids. In, in, I, and they're, they're able to pick their jobs just because of internship experience. I mean, Kettering, for example, those guys are printing paychecks. Well, they're not doing right. their tech works thing anymore. We heard, we heard that with the last MEDC their, uh, thing that we did, which is kind of a bummer. I mean, that was kind of a cool thing they had going on. Oh, with the half internship, half Yeah, Kettering, Univers- yeah Kettering out in Flint. Uh, yeah. yeah, they're not doing their tech works thing anymore, apparently. Well. Just didn't have as many candidates or that funding something. Uh, Who knows? They, they need Details. to get back on it. Companies loved hiring folks from them too. Uh, it, it, it was good. So we're seeing a lot more internship type roles where companies are willing to hire. They're willing to try hire before two, you buy. Yep. Well, well, not only that, but they're also willing to hire two people. To figure and, out which one they want to keep? Yeah. No, but to train them Two men enter. Oh, one man leave. Right, exactly. Exactly. Well, Two men Thunderdome. <laughs> nice. I have not gotten a client to, 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 to uh, uh, offer up the Battle Dome yet. I've tried. Um, <laughs> not not Polly Shore. <laughs> not, not, not Biodome Thunderdome. Not Biodome Thunderdome. <laughs> to, get the, to get the Thunderdome going. Who run um, Barter Town? <laughs> exactly. Who run Barter Town? Billy Baldwin? <laughs> Sorry, I have a buddy from college that puts a whole new meaning to a Thunderdome. So. Nice. <laughs> um. <laughs> no, but I mean, that's, you know, and honestly, I mean, that's good to know because, like I said, I mean, you know, you do. I mean, you, you hear about, you know, the, you know, the, the Quickens and the CompuWares and those guys, and, and there are. I mean, there, there are a lot of wrecks out there, and that's one of the things that we've noticed in our group over the course of the past year in particular where, you know, we kind of had developed the reputation where, okay, so Detroit Nets where you go if you want to meet recruiters, if you're in that mid range, like, you know, you've got at least three to five years of experience and you're ready to go play for that next step in your career. Well, you know, since we've been doing the MEDC and the shifting gears things, we've had more, you know, or, or Lawrence Tech or wherever else we've gone, we've had more and more people showing up that are, you know, that are that entry level position, that intern level position. And we really haven't had a whole lot of people to play with them. That's not the case anymore. You know, there are there are right. more and more recruiters that are showing up that are looking for that entry level job. That you know, first I just step had somebody, help desk. I just said someone hit me up for uh, was it? They needed a junior help desk guy. They're paying yep. thirty five, forty grand. Jeez. I'm like, what? You know. So everyone I'm looking at going, you know, there's someone I was talking to the other day. He, uh, quit well, his jo- along with the caveat that you couldn't just post the job on LinkedIn. Right. Don't yeah. do not tell me. You know, I need to know someone. Don't just tell me to post on LinkedIn. Um, but you know. Uh, guy i know he quit his job as a chef and he's looking for something to do i'm like go get your network plus a go plus. learn dot net right and you're gonna yeah. make what you made Mo- as a chef and then, you know yeah absolutely i go go now and he's just kind of giving me this blank stare and i'm like i'm not gonna help you but you know that's anyone yeah. that's even confused about it you know to get those three certs and you're off and running as a help desk guy then you figure out what you want to do in it take a horse to the water yeah exactly yeah the whole oh, who yeah oh <laughs> What'd you call me? <laughs> so, I mean, you know, so, I mean, you know, arrows. I mean, are, are you guys coming out on uh, Thursday night? 
No, well, I will. No, actually, uh, oh. there's a little plug for ourselves. No pressure. Yeah, we are actually uh, get out. For all of our, <laughs> yeah, sorry guys. Uh, for all of our employees in our field staff, we're actually doing a family night at uh, Comerica Park. Uh, so one of the benefits for working for nice. us, you get a free ball game. No, very um, cool. So that's where I'll be then, and then also I live in Rochester, so. We'll, br- we'll make a. I, fat- live in, I live in Oxford, and I'll be there. Yeah, you guys sponsor this thing. I we'll make know. a. We'll make a fat hit of you, and we'll stick it on the wall. There we that'd go. Be, that'd be perfect. <laughs> Steve was here. I promise. <laughs> no, otherwise, I would be there. I promise you. Guys. Oh, I know. You're you're one of the regular staples at our events. Absolutely. Um, anything else you want to dive into? You guys lead the way. All right. So, Annette, <laughs> anything else you want to yak about for the uh, September fifth event? Or actually, you know, one of the things we haven't really talked about. Um, you know, just from a Yelp perspective is, you know, so, you know, <laughs> Bob was whining a little bit today. Um, never whine. Ab- no, about, why, never whines. about why his reviews are getting filtered. No, um, I didn't. My new reviews, not one has ever been filtered. <laughs> That's what you I, said, though. You just said you that. Just no, said but that. the news no. articles about people getting you filtered. If you force me to pull up the email, I will absolutely yes, do it. You, know, you lying rat bastard. <laughs> Shut um, the front door. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and so, you know, and, and one of the things I told him is, you know, there is. There's a whole algorithm back there. And, I, you know, I, I told him, I'm like, dude, one of the things you might want to pay attention to is that you're writing reviews for places that you've never checked into. And I get it that that might happen. Like, you might think about it after the fact and you forgot to check in. But, I mean, that might be something that, you know, Yelp's algorithms pay attention to. Um, You know, I... I- I don't know. I mean, I well, just, yeah, I honestly it's, it's just the don't secret know. sauce, right? Yeah, I mean, um, well, she can't talk about it. <laughs> yeah, she could tell us, <laughs> yeah. but then she'd have to. Well, kill that's us. right. Nobody yeah. listens to this show, so. Uh, <laughs> right. No, I mean, I honestly yeah, don't between, know. It's, 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 it's you know between us and Ray Braun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's really who it is. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I honestly don't know. It's it's something that I know changes frequently. It sort of learns as it goes, and it finds certain trigger words and some things that Great. aren't. Yelp is going to become Skynet. Um, that's yeah, how this exactly. all happens. That's, that's where we're headed. Uh, <laughs> so right, right, writing your own reviews, <laughs> right? Yeah. But uh, but Nobody's working. But here. it's one of those things yep. where just because something, if if it got filtered once, it doesn't mean it stays in the filter. Right. Like as you become, well, and that's one of the things I've noticed is that you know as you become more active in that kind of stuff, your reviews, a trusted it, user, it, it, yeah, it, it yeah. pays attention to you more. Yeah, absolutely. And and you know I think that that um, is sort of a bonus to the site because you know that the content that you're reading is legitimate and and as, as legitimate as it can be you know obviously certain things do get filtered that should you know that's right and just, it, yeah it is i mean and it is like you know a heartburn for like you know the first time user where they you know they say hey you know what i was at a restaurant it was my you know first time there i had a great experience they said hey we happen to be on yelp so they go and download the yelp app they go and they write a review and then it's nowhere yeah. You know, and it's one of those things where and we do. I mean, we, we see those folks that hop onto the message board all the time where, you know, I don't understand. You know, I, you know, I joined Yelp and I wrote this review and it was really great and it was five star. And, you, well, you're just trying to make sure you're not a shill. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, five and, stars, you, it's, you know, you don't throw those around loosely. I mean, I've learned I've no, that right no. off the bat. Always well, leave room for improvement. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And a lot of the things is, is a lot of business owners think that it's it's calculated because it's positive. All the positive reviews are getting filtered. But if you look at the numbers of the site, 80 percent of reviews on the site are positive. So statistically mm. speaking, the reviews that are going to go under the filter will most likely be, you know, 80 percent positive you get a as one, well. A one star review because the green beans were a little cold. <laughs> right. <laughs> the server did not pay attention. To me, <laughs> exactly. I demanded. Um, it's it's to me though. You know, it, it's you know. Granted, you know, I know you know the foodies and all that. They're kind of out. You know, they're the, they're the ones that are writing a lot of this stuff. And it's amazing that you know how many episodes of Chopped. I mean, you think you're a judge on Chopped when you go to these places. <laughs> you know, instead of taking it for what it is. You know, we. I remember Lockhart's Barbecue. I read the reviews while I was waiting for my food to come. I'm like, I've been here once before. It was an amazing barbecue. The brisket was probably as good as I've ever had. And there's people complaining about everything. The littlest, you know. Well, that's why everybody reads the, like I said before, you read it with a grain of salt. You you read it from your own perspective. You know that, you know, maybe you read somebody's reviews and you're like, man, we have very different palates. Like, you know, like, you know, I mean, not everybody. You and I will never be friends. It's like like movie reviews to me. If the, if the reviews come out in the paper and they say this movie's awful, I'm going to go see it. Yeah, exactly. Not everybody has the same tastes. And, you know, I mean, it's, it's up to you now to, to lead the way on your, your own personal tastes and go out there and write those reviews for those places so if you disagree then you go on and you write it i mean that's the beauty of the site you can always chime in and bring your own perspective. it'd be nice though if there was like a um like a like a reddit like a down vote or like a <laughs> reply going you Ooh. are crazy oh, yeah. now i know you have no power over that but it'd be phenomenal to say you go 
Well, yeah, because I mean, there, there are only you know the three rating options useful, on a review: funny, useful, cool. funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah useful, yeah, funny. I mean, cool. we try and keep it positive. You know, in the fourth terms one should of... be like glue sniffer. Is, is or... the is the Yelp friending thing uh, <laughs> part of the community part that you're involved with at, at all, or is that just a, a social aspect of you know, like when I checked into this location, you know, it said Dave checked in here as well. I mean, because you know, I yeah, it does I, show yeah. you proximity of your friends and it shows you yeah, yep. yep, yeah, you can you can add anyone that you find you know you're connecting with. You can follow their reviews, that sort of thing, um, and then when you check in places. You can see, you know, if that's something that you can, you know, right. um, you can turn it off to avoid stalkers. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> you can, you, can uh, you know. Yeah. Hi, Chelsea, by the way. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so you can, uh, you know, keep keep an eye out and see what people that, you know, maybe you're like, oh, this person likes a lot of the same places I do. They just checked in in this place. Right. Gotcha. Oh, that's maybe I should check that out and bookmark right. it. So it's it's real interactive. Well, in and way. literally, I mean that. So Friday night, Bob and I were you know downtown wandering around for a friend's birthday party, and uh, checked into the park bar, and it popped up with you know two of my friends on Yelp. They were mm-hmm. like, "Hey, they're here in the bar." Yeah, and I was like, "Oh, really?" And I like I looked up and looked around, and I'm like, "Oh, hey, yeah." <laughs> it's always a nice little surprise. I always end up there like an hour after somebody, and I'm looking nice. around. I'm like, "Oh, I guess that we just is that, is that ships some, passing in the night." Is that something that Yelp would take to the next step? Where like on LinkedIn, for example, where they have the the celebrities or the the, the business executives, where you can actually follow people now that are at, at you can't like connect with them, but you, you can, can follow fan them. Somebody already, yeah. So you, you can, can fan people on, yeah, on that's Yelp a, to yeah, watch, that's a watch weird their check ins. Like so you can I actually like stalk. Had a few of so those, you can actually stalk somebody on Yelp, like you know, hey, they were just at a Starbucks in New York or whatever. Why are you guys like having coffee at Starbucks? We have to go. We have I, to go. I don't know oh. if it necessarily means you'd be <laughs> seeing their check-ins, but at least you'll be able to follow their reviews. So okay, maybe right, it's something right. where you're like, hey, I like this person's writing style. I don't throw around my friend requests all that easily, but I'd like right. to keep their, you know, see what they're writing. I'm not a complete okay. total social whore. <laughs> <laughs> you know, exactly. You know, and so so that's an option out there. Oh, okay. If that's, that's something cool. you wanted to do. All right. So, hey, we are uh, coming up against the end of the show, believe wow. it or not. Unbelievable. So let's make sure we get everything in. So Thursday night at Connor O'Neill's uh, out in Ann Arbor. That is our DetroitNet.org networking event for those in and around the IT industry. Absolutely. Thank you, Mark from uh, Wolverine. Mark. That, <laughs> yeah. Just got to put that uh, out there. Yeah. So uh, DetroitNet.org or ITNTheD.com, whichever is easier for you to remember. Uh, and then we want to thank uh, Steve, who's in here from Aero Strategies. You can find them and all their job listings out at AeroStrategies.com. Um, and have, as per usual, we'll have links to all this fun stuff out on the site probably tomorrow. And then Annette, thank you for coming in. Uh, the the uh, Detroit Community Manager for Yelp and hit Yelp.com slash Detroit. Hop into the events tab and check out the seriously kick-ass event that's going to be happening on uh, November, or not November, the September 5th, uh, down at San Andrews Hall. Which I'd, is, be bre- I'd be sleeping a lot easier. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, trust me. Yeah, we have an event two weeks later at San Andrews Hall. I'm already not sleeping yeah. over that one. All right. Um, and I'm not sleeping because I drank four cans of Red Bull yesterday. <laughs> yeah. That'll do it. It will. <laughs> All right. So that's it. Bob, do your thing. See you guys next week. IT and the D Show, Raw Radio X. Thanks for listening. I have come here to chew bubble gum and kick ass. And I'm all out of bubble gum. They say can't be done.